Hello and welcome all. This is Dice of Ages, presenting Crest Valen, the Argent Flame. Episode 51, so you want to stop a riot. Without further ado, let's get into the recap of the previous episode. Taking in the scene of grief before them, the Argent Flame discussed the potential riot in Steercrag with Logren Stoneworm. Log reveals his form, evoking a surprisingly underwhelming response, but building a rapport of trust in the process. Logren can't officially interfere in clan politics without repercussions, so the party offer to help stop the riot in exchange for a boon of sorts. Cole cleans up Logren with magic, and Zemdak stabs the Lord with a syringe, alleviating some of his fear. The mention of Ermgrim's description seems to subtly pique the Lord's interest, however well he hides it. Logren agrees to send a patrol of regulars nearby the party's location to act as quick responders, and the gang learn of his business in Karadim. On the way out, Argus notices the Lord surreptitiously order a patrol to track down a specific Durgar. Now, welcome back to Crest Valen. Oh, and welcome back. This is Dice of Ages, presenting Chris Fallen, the Argent Flare, and we're back from the break. Uh, last we left off, you guys had just met with... Oh, let's change some of the music here. Now we're doing Brown Man to Man. Um, last we left off, you guys were just leaving the fang. What's up? Oh, that's nice. that's the stream. This is OBS. We got it. I got you, boy. Um, so, um, doop a doo Derp derp. Uh, you Stop left. Now. You left the Fang after having a uh, a little bit more of a civil conversation with uh, Lobbern Stoneworm, and um, some shade was thrown afterward and and casted. Was not by me. Why are you I, I'm just, <laughs> you're just photogenic. I'm just okay. looking at your beautiful face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he likes the way you react. Just to the I like the cut of your jib, Kenton. What okay. can I say? Um, mm. Ooh, that's good. Maybe Shade can come here. Um, right. Maybe I'll ask Shade. So you guys are. <laughs> hey. So you guys are out of. My God, I feel like I need to wash my hands after that. Um, you should come help us with this thing to put this person in charge. You guys are outside of the Fang. You guys just said you were headed towards where you suspect the riot may be. I'm not sure if you guys ascertained a location. We, we did. did. No. You did? Yeah, Who's I thought there? we figured out where the. No, we just figured it was going to be at the next Vogel meeting thing. Which you, we were that's going Vogel to go to try to find I thought it. Eliezer are used as urban bounty hunter. We talked about it. Oh, oh. Um, you no no you used your urban bounty hunter to get the rapport and the information from the other bounty hunter. We talked. About Remember that? It, but we didn't. End um, but you but you but I believe yes you have an idea as to be where the best locations would be. You right. just might have to so do could some. Could I narrow guesswork. that down? Um, we could also how about, how about this? Why don't you guys? Uh, why don't you guys start canvassing the city? Uh, and we'll do some uh, oh, investigation checks. I'll say all? having him lead you is going to make this a far easier and faster. Were they giving out pamphlets about where the next speech is going to be? No, they were giving no, out no, bread. no. They were giving out is bread marked with bread? Vogel to make to, to like be like, hey, Vogel will give you free bread. Because you're like, going to use your locate person to find the. Oh yeah, you were gonna use that to locate the bard. Yeah, I, I may, I may be incorrect on this, but I'm I'm like I'm markedly. Maybe we just had a plan. Sure I, yeah, yeah, I think you guys just had a plan. I don't think you know exactly I think we where did you're going. I, think I mean, granted, you could follow throngs, but who knows? We we, we knew were, the bo- we knew we the bard also, was staying at Vogel. Yeah, and we were talking about going to Vogel to talk to the bard, which we could then. Or we could go camp out around Vogel Whoa. if the bard's there and just if you want to go to the Vogel too. estate, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could. Well, but if we were to like, woo, spy. We live near an airbase, so. Yes, you do. <laughs> I now hear it. I didn't used to because I grew up underneath this airspace. Mm. And I for years just. It's used different to... when you're like recording. You know, you hear everything. Yeah. Well, I. Uh... But anyway, um, so. What do we want to do? Like, well, are we going to go playing, look for the bard? Very, very or are we going to look for where it's going to be? If Well, here's the thing. If we go yeah, to Vogel the and the bard is still at Vogel, we could follow the bard to where they're go- where this is supposed to be at. Weren't we talking about you talking to the bard and trying to at get At least slain? warning him. Well, I was talking about warning him about that we had discovered this attack. Yeah, exactly. I thought he had already... Um, I'm confusing. Where is Ermgrim right now? 
Um, let me check. <laughs> Working into Shakar. Um, you work into Shakar. Um, Shakar <coughs> is on Ermgrim's shoulder, and Ermgrim has this look of like. I I don't think you have anything to really relate this to because you've never been in that type of situation. Like, you've never been at war before. Um, though, there, the sliver of what you have to possibly relate to it would be the determination to exit that one time that you, what the reason why you have PTSD when mm -hmm. you are underground. Um, that just like nothing else matters. You have like blinders and tunnel vision. He has tunnel vision right now. He doesn't even like really recognize Shakar's even on his shoulder. Like he somewhat knows he's there, but it's like the, the discomfort of him being on his shoulder is, is ne he doesn't fucking care. He just okay. doesn't fucking care. And he is moving. He is moving. He's not running. He's just moving with a purpose. Okay. And he is being meted alongside by other people. And you see that he's headed toward a crowd of people. And this is obviously within the city then? And this is within the city. Um, there looks to be some sort of, I don't want to say stage, what is it called? It's a stage, but it's like a wooden impromptu one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, so like, like kind of like Platform a, a, kind of a, thing, a like dias, um, kind of like a wooden dais dais. that's been built. Dais. Is dais or, is, is it D-I-A-S or D-A-I-S? D-A-I-S. D-A-I-S. Yeah. Dais. Dais. That's what I thought. Someone else told me differently, and I don't want to smack them now. Um, so, um, so yes. Uh, there's some sort of wooden dais, but it's like, almost like as if it would be a gallows, but no, but no, but no hanging. Just like, you know, oration. And it looks like, yes, um, he's headed apparently to some sort of meeting. Are there any signs or, ta like, anything? Landmarks? Yeah, because I'm assuming that there's not street signs. Sure. But like, maybe, um, you know, like a tavern sign or something. Um, yeah, you can have Shakar, like, Shakar just kind of is looking around, just kind of being perceptive. Um, you see that the fang is a big thing, so it's very easy to see. Mm -hmm. You see the fang looks to be east from from where they are right now, almost due east. Okay. Um, um, so it's directly west. Their current location is directly due west of the Fang, so you would have to hit directly west from here. Okay. Uh, I'll pop back out and just describe that to everybody. Um, so we should probably head a little west here, move quickly. It seems like... So it's already starting? Yeah, and he's he's got... He's really determined, and he just is not thinking about anything else. Like uh, I will say, um, they it's it's like the beginnings of people arriving at a concert, like half an hour to an hour early kind of feel, where like there's people there and they're getting good seats and good standing area, <laughs> and like you know, yeah, putting tobacco in their pipe and like you know, getting ready. Like they knew about it, and they just don't want to be, they just don't want to get caught in all the other thing, and and uh, it's like the, these are the early birds. Um, that's the kind of vibe you're getting. Um, like there's even uh, what you notice from the, there's still, still people like you know doing the finishing touches on the on the stage like uh, you know just regular maintenance that kind of thing. No wonder if Ermgrim is going to be the start of the riot and they set it up that way. That would be a really crappy setup because they wouldn't know that he actually knew to go actually start it. Unless they keep unless the uh, temporal law. Well, unless the dude that's in charge of your or the head of your religion is part of the conclave and being used that way. Uh, stoking the flame? Yeah. Or they spied on us and knew he was here. I mean, they could have been spying on us from the moment we took him out of the prison. <laughs> Let's just, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. And he was a convenient scapegoat right? to start a riot. Okay, cool. See, so here's what I'm gonna have you do. Um, Eliezer, you know cities more than anybody else here, um, be given your trade. Um, I'm gonna have you roll an investigation check for me. At an advantage? Does it urban bounty hunter? I wasn't gonna give it to you, but you asked, so I guess I have to. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard to ask. Um, investigation? Investigation for me. Um, and here's the deal. Um, you are really good at... Um, <laughs> 
There, there are many times you're in urban battle unit, right? Mm -hmm. So you're constantly casing the joint. You're constantly casing areas that you need to do, 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 do. So whenever you enter like a new city, you're always like, oh, there's a good place where I knew I could get armaments. Oh, there's a good place I knew I need to get supplies. If I ever need to like run in and get shit done, blah, 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 and then go out and if I need to hide, if I need to like pursue somebody. So you're, you, your eyes and ears are open to everything. So you might get more than just uh, what, like, what it is that you're searching for, depending okay. on how well you do with this role. Okay. 16? 16, okay, that's pretty darn good. Do you have an investigation? No, that's the crazy part no. with Urban Bound here. It's just plus zero. Zero, yeah, that's your intelligence modifier. Yeah. Oh. I figured you would, like, be, are you profi Are you trained in it, though? In Urban Bound? Or it's just investigation. Or investigation. No. Investigation. Okay, so you are coming from uh, the south uh, exit of of the fang which means you're just kind of you're just kind of doing a little bit of a lazy like a very sharp lazy curve before you go to the west side i mean for you it's this but whatever um anyway uh so you have to go through into the city a little bit before you start to turn into the right direction okay. uh uh meaning you take just a little bit of a roundabout way but it's better doing that and to do it to avoid just the the, the crowds mm -hmm. um you, you notice a couple things. You notice a couple uh, noteworthy shops or just noteworthy um, like loca locales on the mm -hmm. way there. Uh, one is um, uh, a what it looks like a... I don't want to say library and I don't want to say archive. I want to say... Because there is an attached... There's a large attached barracks to this one building that does have stone columns on it and it does look like an area of study. To you, um, do you speak Dwarvish? No. Okay. Um, to you, this looks like some sort of establishment for like intellect, but also is it is like physically also attached to like an annex okay. of. Uh, well, I guess that's the. That's not that's the definition of annex. I mean, it's separate, but you know what I'm saying. Um, like, there is a large barracks that's, like, still in the same lot um, that looks like there are regulars, like soldiers, practicing and stuff like that. Granted, as I said before, Steercraft doesn't really have a standing army, except they kind of do, but they're only beholden to, like, the current lord. Um, and it's, like, it's, it's, a little, it's complicated. Um, uh, it's more about what is stationed at the at the at the uh, the breach the reaching breach um so but there is a barracks attached to some sort of establishment for intellect okay. and study here um unfortunately it is the the lettering on this building is in dwarvish okay so you're unable to read it but he can uh you pointed out to argus mm -hmm. um argus this says cath war college and Kath, you recognize as a old dialect of of Dwarvish, meaning like battle. Looks like it's a battle college. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, but meaning like this is probably where tactical strategies are studied. So there's probably think of like uh, all of the manuscripts and scrolls that the Romans kept for like, you know, their intellectual strategies and everything like stuff like that is here. Um, like a, 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 a someone who whose background might have been a fighter, like, uh, you know, meta knowledge would maybe have studied here if they were like a battle master like these. The, it's so it is definitely a fortress of intellect as well as a, you know, militant place as well. It meaning that there's some good knowledge there it's yeah. also you know based on tactics and stuff like that but right now we're on the move so mm -hmm. but i will remember this place so yeah. i i just try to yeah you make a metal note of it yeah. um you kind of just like you know hey there's thing like there and he's like oh yeah Catholic work college and like so, somebody write that down and somebody does <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you put it out cold like, read that too huh, and go place oh, with maybe books write it down maybe books maybe I can learn how to fight better where's the part who's really not a man like oh okay um I'm working on my evil ass into the second um, yes. So, and and then that, now as you're headed, um, that was more on like the south by southwest area. Now as you head more in the western area, you do pick up a another place. Um, it is uh, this this uh, is 
this is in common. It's, it's, uh, this is a building uh, made of like partially stone, partially what looks like uh, mica wood, which is um, um, that you recognize and you recognize as a wood that's made from Who lo- the large. Who recognizes for? I'm sorry. Argus and Zemdak. Okay, cool. Argus and, and Zemdak recognize this as mica wood. It is a uh, mycelial wood. So it's like uh, the, the giant stalks of of mushrooms that get harvested in Dondoral, um, or Dardoral. I have to look it up. Um, I believe you said Dondoral before. It's right behind you. Well, no, no, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Before, but I'm sorry. Um, boom. D-A-N-D-A-R-A-H-L? Donderall. Donderall, yeah. So the Don, the, the Donderall Wold, where like uh, the massive sprawling uh, my- mycelial forests are. Um, so it's like the stalks of those mushrooms uh, can be harvested like wood. And and they're being, it's like they're used just like wood would be used. Um, but you can also eat them. So it's like very gingerbread house kind of style, too. They actually, I saw something the other day that they are making that. Oh yeah, they're making oh, mycelial, mycelial wood? Network. Network like walls and things like that. That's so fucking cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Look at that. Living the dream. That's great. You can and live. It's a, you can live in a smurf <laughs> house at some point in your life. Though. Well, it's uh, life imitates art. Um, so anyway, um, so it looks like it's made of like you know partly stone, part of this like mica wood, and uh, it's you see that the sign above it says called it's called the Canny Canary, and the kind of the vibe you're getting from here, just the instant bounty hunter like wow, where I need to re- resupply. This appears to be some sort of general store of sort of sorts. Um, what you do notice specifically, which is kind of what like makes you do a double take, is that there is um, appear to be like a several. I don't want to say like wind chimes, but there's those types of things that interact with like kinetic the art. breeze mm-hmm. that are kind of like hanging outside. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Kinetic art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like kinetic art, but there's not really a breeze here except for like drafts. So the this kinetic art uh, looks to appear to be running on some sort of like. Um, wind up spring loaded clockwork mechanisms here that of all these like little like things that just kind of like spin and whir and just kind of like a little like uh, little trinkets. Hey Zimdick, check that out. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's go. Shiny. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm like, yeah, that has no Here's purpose. Here's little bait. Here's uh, some bait. Here's some bait. <laughs> um, okay. What was that? Come on, fishy, take the fucking bait. Um, okay, uh, great. Um, that's that's those are the two places that you noticed before you arrive here. You guys make good time. You arrive here within like twenty minutes, half hour, if not um, sooner than that. Um, and you see the throngs are starting to gather, and people are starting to get stuff up. I want. I want those. With a passive perception of fourteen and above to roll perception checks for me. Fourteen. 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 Man. <laughs> so let's me read lips. I'm not. I'm, uh, 26. 26. <laughs> 14. 14. So they I rolled. You rolled your passive. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you you just notice what everyone else is noticing. Like there's, you know, uh, you get some shifty stuff, but you notice that um, there appear to be three different types of people. And I don't mean the three different clans that are involved. There appear to be like you're ba- you're like uh, categorizing them on their behavior. One of them, one of them are just like you know they're ready to hear. They're make, getting a good spot. They're like you know every, maybe they might have a flask on them. They might not. They're just they're People here to who like are actually here to listen to what's going exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're here for the intended purpose. The uh the the second one is our peer that uh appear to be either representatives or um, 
kind of watching and looking out, make sure things don't get too out of hand or trying to direct people in a certain way or trying to bring more people in and just being like, you know, hear ye, hear ye, that type of thing, but also kind of working as facilitators and... Kind and of mem- are these members of the Vogel clan or...? Um, yes, you notice that uh, most of these members do wear some sort of emblem of the Vogel upon okay. them, um, however small or, or large it may be. Um, it's it's kind of a slapdash because not um, although you know Steer Craig is still one of the underground raids of Fang Rubens and there's like you know a lot of dwarves and gnomes th- like th- Steer Craig is one of the towns that has a very wide variety of different types of races like even walking around as a bugbear here wasn't wouldn't necessarily like catch you at a massive amount of undue attention she would just be like well, yeah. okay you're a mercenary and a hunter I'm sure you're doing your job like whatever unless you're like, a wanted bugbear it's, it's a little odd but like it's not <laughs> it's not entirely out of the ordinary like it's it's pretty it's it's pretty melting pot here so um, so not every member of the vocal clan that you notice here is dwarven in fact there's there's, there's gnomish there's tieflings there's humans there's quite a bit there's quite a bit of the assortment um it, this political faction has has attracted more than just, um, and, and then you, you like I like I said before, the clan doesn't require to be dwarvish. Like you could be adopted into the clan by being something else. Like you could be anything you like. Um, the third person you notice, and because you rolled so high, the DC to notice is twenty five. Is there are those sticking to the periphery of outside, kind of like keeping their distance. And, like, kind of making it look as though they're busy with something. But you sense that, like, shifty nature of, like, they're either tailing people or keeping an eye on some, like, roguish, rakish characters. I, are, I, I noticed some of the traits that I was trained in for observing people and hiding exactly. what I'm doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Like, you you sense some sort of, not, not necessarily clandestine, but incognito things going on here. Like, they are trying to make it look as though they are part of the crowd, but picking acts, advantageous positions for perception and getting, like, a wide vantage of what's going on. And they appear to be pretty good at what it is that they're doing because you lose two of them at, after ten seconds of, of, of spotting them. Like, you just straight up lose two of them. And they're just gone. You can't find them. Um... The two that besides the two I lose, the next one that I see, mm-hmm. I'm gonna mentally point them out to Eliezer. Okay. <sighs> Eliezer, look, they're he's not he's not behaving she. right. He she she. It's okay. They how about that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. They're not behaving right. They're they're trying to blend in here, but they're not here to hear or anything like that. Mm. It's like a very, very dark midnight blue uh, female tiefling uh, with horns that that uh, like uh, appear to be covered mostly by her hair, just because they're so pressed deeply down upon her the, her skull. Um, uh, and uh, she has these just fully black eyes and uh, looks to be like uh, examining a piece of fruit, but then like very, uh, very surreptitiously, um, just kind of like looks around. Um, they are clocking everything, almost as if they're f- taking mental pictures of every face in the crowd. Okay. And they, <clears throat> the, the, the instinct, your urban bounty hunter instinct that you're getting from there is that they really know what they're doing. Okay. Which is why okay, I told the urban bounty hunter about the suspicious yeah. people. <laughs> and so I'll just say... You kind of get the same back. vibe from that, the pleased to meet you. Okay. And so I'll just say, lean back a second, keep an eye on me. I'm just going to go wandering by to see if I can... You can say this mentally too. You don't have to say it out loud. Okay. Uh, Cool. While you're pointing this out and everything, as because you rolled so high, you notice several others. There is a whole. There's a host of these people. The thing is, like you, you spot like three or four of them at a time, and then you lose track of more than half of the ones you just spotted, and then you spot a couple more. But like, it's really like. They're, these people are good. They know what they're doing. They know how to blend into a crowd. So you're only spotting the ones that are like. I'm only catching them as they're like trying to pay attention to other things. Yeah, and like, stuff like that. you're only like picking them up as they like poke their heads out in order to like get a better look and like kind of reveal themselves in that kind of like snoopy roguish way. But like, uh, but then you're quickly like losing track of them. You're finding it really, really hard to get a bead and keep a bead on uh, any one in particular. With how many Cole has seen and lost track of, does Cole have any idea of like a round number? As right? how many of them? Yeah, as far he's as like kind of spotted repeats of faces, um, over fifteen. Uh, Cole will also send that sh- to Trishenny. There's there's over like fifteen suspicious people here. They they're like watching everybody. They seem to be doing everything. It's like they're trying to 
appear part of the crowd but not be part of the crowd. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm doing counter surveillance. Mm -hmm. I was just walking towards the tiefling mm -hmm. just to see if I can get a feel on what she's they you want to are see, trying to do. Are you, right. are you trying to be stealthy in this? I'm just trying to blend in the crowd, so sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's still a stealth. That's a form of stealth. Yeah. Okay. Um, be, uh, you trying? You're trying to pretty much avoid arousing her suspicion right. of you approaching her. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll a stealth check for me. How big of an area is this? Yeah. Um, this is like, I'm gonna. This is kind of like an elongated intersection. It's almost as though there's like a double lane road that meets a single lane road. Um, and um, where the single and and people are kind of traveling along the single lane until it widens out into the perpendicular double lane road, and they're mostly uh, set up against the far side of that road, where that then it, it re-intersects with the single lane road. Um, so they're kind of, it's almost like, think of it kind of like a block party. It's kind of set up where like a whole uh, like a smaller, not like a Manhattan block that's long but like a uh, a smaller, almost like square-ish, maybe slightly rectangular like city block that's kind of like just shut down, but not shut down. Shut down to like cart traffic, but not like business is still happening from like the vendors nearby. Like 500 foot square? Something kind of like that, yeah. If not, uh, maybe maybe a little larger, oh, yeah. Okay. After I tell these two, I will tell the others as well, like hit each one of them with my mental thing and tell them about that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, like some of them that you're like, look at that person, and then by the th they're like, wait, where? And by the time they have a chance to look, they're gone, they're gone. And but like it, every once in a while, you guys do pick up, and you you guys get that there are people here. Um, because you rolled twenty six, I'm gonna let you roll an insight check for me. Yeah. I like this new die. It's not doing the worst. Uh, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. There's something not right about this. If these people are this good that they are avoiding your detection even after you've 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 made them, they shouldn't be made by you in the first place. I shouldn't be able to see them. Like I, basically I'm going to tell I'm going to go out to the others and go this is suspicious. If they're this good, I shouldn't be able to see them. I shouldn't even be spotting these people. Like a trap. Almost, yeah, Log. This whole thing is a trap. Crap, if, Log's, if Log can see the trap, that means <laughs> the <laughs> We knew it was a trap. I mean, like, I've, I've, you know, like, done raids before. I don't know that there's anything we can do to prevent this. I right. think we just need to warn the bard and make sure we're in a position to help. If we can get close enough I can, and we can spot it, I can tell them when to run. You, you're kind of getting off. like shell game vibes from this. Like, uh, like, like they're like really keeping you guessing as to like as, as to like who's the suspicious one. They are the bait. The ones that you're seeing are the bait. <sighs> Not the actual trap. Right. But it's impossible for you to figure out like yeah which one is which at this point like yeah maybe we don't look for them. I'm riding on conk shoulders just mm -hmm. sure to yeah be yeah clear, so I'm not lost in the crowd um yeah conk <laughs> conk Damn. is is far more <laughs> it, it, like you know you get a couple looks but conk is just like yeah okay you know he's a tinker uh, whatever you're probably right. from Fulmer bed it's fine um there um you, yeah you get a little bit more of a vantage being on top of his shoulders um i will say that It is not easy for you to not be visible or <laughs> suspicious riding a mental oh, monstrosity. Yeah, I don't, I don't, okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, it's going to be difficult for you riding the soldier, shoulders of a metal construct to, like, be stealthy. Sure. That's, that's, that's not, okay. Standing you, next to shiny lizard boy. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not shiny anymore, I don't think, because that was yesterday. No. I mean, he's still armor shiny. Yeah, yeah he didn't put on his cocoa butter today. He's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he is still a silver dragonborn, so he is shiny. Yeah. Silver yeah. scaled armor, armor shiny. Armor. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
not like yeah. glowing Which is, shiny. I mean, yeah, I mean, like I, I, I and he's I, not inconspicuous. I do want to just reiterate the fact that like the the peasantry or like the common folk here aren't just like you know in like cloth and rags and like you know in like regular peasantry. A lot of the people here are like armor. constantly wearing armor and weapons on them. Like this is a town of beastmasters, hunters, mercenaries. Like they know what they're doing. It's it's very like Spartans. What is your profession? We're all trained to fight, mm-hmm. even the common folk. They're like they're, the militia here is just that. Well, which you kind of it's kind of like the Rohirrim too, like from the Lord of the Rings. We all these people still don't need to know how to fight because we're this close to the crack. Right. Yeah. They all they all need to be able to the like breach. Yeah. They all need to be able to take down at least one other person with with them if they go down. If, if there's a battle, you, there's no guarantee that somebody else is going to defend you. You need Ex- to be able to defend yourself. Exactly. Like by living here, you take that risk. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah. So people like you, armored dragonborn, don't really stick out. People like you, as much. I mean, granted, still construct, but but you know, not as much. Uh, bugbear, you'd probably be okay. Um, and you guys are pretty heavily armed. You guys blend in. This is one of the like the very few places that you guys like straight oh, up blend in pretty damn here. well. <laughs> well, yeah, we're an adventuring group. We're all yeah. wearing armor. You look weapons. like you belong here. So, what'd you get on your stealth check? Nine. Nine. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you do your best to just kind of like walk up to a stand, be like, oh, what nice pineapples. Or, oh, what nice mushrooms, I should that say. That bad, TJ, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> this is a pretty red apple. <laughs> uh, uh, now, I'm apples. Being super uh, obvious and uh, trying not to be obvious. <laughs> so you even like walk up, you're Ooh, like, this is a nice mm, mushroom. You I can make hum, mushrooms like, too right. from this. You even hum and ha out, out loud. <laughs> uh, and then you like, you know, make your way closer and everything. And uh, you look at one point, and she's just dead lock looking at you, like dead eye, full lock. And she just, like, one of the corner of her mouth just kind of smirks up. And then she turns around the corner. You pursue, and she's gone. Okay. She's just straight up gone. Damn. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Still and mushrooms. I'll just say my mind. I lost her. I don't have connection with you anymore. I can't hear you. No? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, he has to initiate the connection. He yeah. did it to everybody in turn. And since I told everybody else after I told you, like I broke the connection with yeah. you. It only lasts for a minute anyway, so yeah. it would have already dissipated. Yeah, so um, are you guys, other than Eliezer, are you guys sticking together as a group? Kind of a pod, or? Or should we work in pairs? Maybe split up, spread out a little bit more? Okay, wait. How are we helping without being part of the fray? Or are we going to be part of the fray? Mm. Locke, you want to help me? I mean, we'll find the bard. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys need to do, do that and play old switcheroo and be our own or, shell game. I think we need to stick together until we talk to the bard, and then we can come up with plans from there. Worst comes to the worst, I say we defend the bard and get them out of here, yes. and then let the regulars deal with the riot. Because what if they want the regulars to kill the bard in that kind of riot situation? That would really put Stoneworm at a disadvantage. And Vogel. you get a sense from how much of a crowd is here for when this might kick off? Um, the crowd is, is, is growing rapidly. Um, it, it, you, you assume that there's probably well over 300 people here at the moment. Probably more and more and more by the minute. Um, this, if you're thinking like, how many people could this space contain until like they realize, oh, we should start now because it's not going to be getting any bigger, and otherwise people are going to start getting like angsty and like you know anxious and and, and a little roughhousey. Um, it is that that time is fast approaching. You imagine you have a couple minutes at most. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if we have time to run over to the Vogel Estate or try to just find them or like. I say we get as close to the platform as we can. Yeah. You guys got lucky too because you you do, you hold some really good roles as to locating this place and trying to figure out and with Shakar, um, so you guys got a head start. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, no. Do you know where I'm going? I was. That's, that's what thing. I was just about to say too. Uh, I pull my hood down over my eyes a little bit more to 
mask the fact that I'm warging and just make sure I don't bump into the people, and I'll warg into him. Um, okay. Circle wizard. <laughs> you see yourself. He's invisible. Um, you see yourself through Shakar's eyes, no more than 15 feet from you. Which also means you can command Shakar. Yeah. Um. Um, and Shakar is no longer on anybody's shoulder. He is sitting on like one of the uh, uh, drapery rods that sticks out from a vendor, um, just kind of scanning the crowd. And he sees kind of you up above, maybe like five feet above you and 15 feet from you. Uh, because I'm close enough, I'll basically t- try to telepath to him like, where is Armgrim? Um, he can like communicate with you a little like, bit, right? Picture, yeah. He's he's kind of uh, okay for 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 lack of a better <laughs> just like mental images. Yeah, so the, la- the mental image is that he vanished, vanished into thin air. Is uh-huh. like these the the, me- the the message that he's sending you, of like um, that he was on his shoulder, and, and then he couldn't see him anymore. But was still riding his shoulder. Uh, for a moment, until he was like shoved off by something. Gotcha. Okay, I'll tell him to stay there so that. And now he's like perched up yeah, on top. I'll of tell him to stay there just not to rouse suspicion, and then I'll. Um... If you guys are all close. I'll just. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're surrounding you right now. I'll just put my hand up to my face and like just pretend I'm having like a headache or something and trying to cover my lips a little bit. But, um, so. He, Shakar lost him. He Shakar's only fifteen feet away. He apparently vanished. He's probably somewhere here. Um, be careful. I'm keeping Shakar there just to I, not I raise. I believe you're familiar with his abilities, right? Yeah. He's fought yeah, with the Umberhawks. Yeah. yeah, he can change shape. He, or he can go bigger. In large he can. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's what it sounds. It sounds like he's invisible. Yeah. So he's he's probably here, invisible. If it's this soon from starting, I'm sure the bard's already here. We should see if we can find him. You do see people start to like step onto the dais, I'm gonna, um, like the stage. I'm going to cast Detect Poison. Nice. Does it detect it within a creature, or is it? does it detect like... You can sense the presence and location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within 30 feet of you. You also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease of each kind. Can penetrate most barriers. What's the what's the range of that? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Start so this around. area is much <laughs> right. more than a thirty but. foot radius. But okay. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna roll some luck checks. Holy crap! What a what an amazing what an amazing. Nice, <laughs> nice job. Nice preparing the spells. Today. Okay. I just no shit. I just rolled three thirteens in a roll. For luck. That's then <laughs> for that luck. Check. Well. Like <laughs> that <For> someone <laughs> freaks me the fuck out. Uh, okay. Um so you 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 sense something. You sense um a, a, a good like 26, 27 feet from you, off to like right behind your right shoulder and off other ways, near one of the uh, outskirts, but still within the crowd, kind of like huddle. Um you sense something. Some sort of poison. It says I get to know what time. It, it is a, it is a, um, it appears to be a type of, uh, like a deadly nightshade type, like, um, where, um, it, in small amounts could be put something to sleep and in large amounts could kill you. Guys, I sense assassination's poison about 27 feet that way. Um, does it say what form <laughs> is it in or what's, I want to know the uh, specifics of the spell. You... <sighs> Also identify the kind of poison, and it just is kind poison, poisonous creature, or disease. Okay, you you sense this poison contained in a in a small area about probably no it bigger than the, si- the presence and location. Yeah. Okay. So you you sense the location and the presence of this type of um, sleepy yet possibly lethal poison within an area no bigger than the size of a bread box, but. Dozens of them within that one area, moving about rapidly. So, like, they're getting dispersed. Uh, they're still they're staying within that area of the bread box. They're just whatever it is. There's multiple 
dis- like poison signatures within that area moving about rapidly. Disease flies. Stinging. So poison flies. Um, I sense a lot of creature. Object. So if it's a creature, I know what kind of creature. Uh, it is a it is a small. It is a tiny creature. Is what you're sensing? A tiny creature. Does it say what type? It is a small, the tiny beast. Kind of poisonous creature. It is not a poisonous creature. It is a poison that is inside a creature. Okay. So it's a tiny, tiny, yeah, it's a poison. Like a infected creature. creature. Okay. Or a poisoned creature. Not a poisonous, but a poisoned creature. Have the nightshades type of poison? Mm Mm-hmm. Could they be attacking the crowd instead of... Yeah, that's a little odd to you. Be like, wait, if a tiny creature has sleeping poison in it. Why isn't it asleep? Right. Go ahead and roll a nature check for me. Okay. Uh, nine. Does not compute. Dude. (laughs) Kenton, what (laughs) the fuck? You know, the eight is right next to the 20. (laughs) He's correct. It actually sat on 20 for half a second before. You roll so bad all the time. I just don't... Well, he he wow. didn't roll less than a thirteen last time, <laughs> which is why he's. I'm gonna get it today. you some weighted dice or some shit. This you already did. And they roll ones. <laughs> yeah, he six. rolls a one on the black plague. <laughs> yeah. One. Yep. And that's like proved to be partially weighted Correct. too. What the fuck? <laughs> you say this out loud though for the um, the creatures, the tiny little mm-hmm. creatures oh, yeah. being poisonous. Can anybody else try to figure it out? No. Well, I can um, yeah, you, you, um, yeah, because you guys are still in your like reasonably like yeah. well, within like five to ten feet from each other. If I mean, I could. Uh, try are, are you, to start. Do you early? rejoin the party? Or are you still checking things out? <laughs> I'm, I'm still checking things out. Okay, you kind of like walk on the periphery, just getting in the perimeter and see. Okay, go ahead and roll screaming. another investigation check this time. Was it a nature check that he did? Yeah. yeah. Um. Yes, it was a nature check. And can anybody? Now, is that always with advantage or just the one time I asked? The last time you do a perception check because it had to do with your urban body stuff, this okay. is investigation because gotcha. now you have to comb through crowds of people. Yeah, I mean, so I am trained in nature, so. Is it okay? Okay. Anybody that's not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, try. you. he Ooh. tells you just as much information as he was available from the spell, so okay. I don't see why not. Net 20. Hell Net yeah. 20. Yeah. Good okay. job. I'm going to get to you in a second. Okay. There's 11. 11? 19. 19. Dirty um, 20. So, yeah. Dirty 20. Okay, so both of you uh, get this information, and you're like, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, um, there are certain creatures that are either immune to or resistant to certain types of herbs and everything because they are meant to either feed on these herbs or spread these herbs or spread the seeds or whatever, and they've just evolved to you know have a certain resistance or immunity to them. So it could be something along those lines. And But, it, but, but for, from the information that he's describing, it sounds like some sort of tiny beast creature has been poisoned by a like sleep-slash-death poison. Um, that it that has little to no effect upon it. Um, that is being contained in an area that is no bigger than a bread box. Mm-hmm. You rolled a natural twenty for a total of I guess it's just dirty twenty, right? Mm-hmm. Investigation. Yep. Um, you spot another dude. Okay. Uh, except it's not a dude. It's it is um, a non-binary individual. Um, looks mm-hmm. to be a gnome, kind of doing their best to just kind of be chilling in the crowd. They have a burlap set, not a burlap set, but just some sort of like some sort of sack on their back, and you see out of the top of the sack what looks like the top of like kind of like uh, the metal part of a mason jar, hmm. uh, um, and uh, you see that they're just kind of like slowly taking their backpack off and readjusting it so it's a little bit more more uh, comfortable and like the backpack itself is like about the, it looks like this mason jar is huge within this bag okay. and and it is like about yay tall and yay wide okay and about how far are they from me they look to be about 20 feet from you and you've only, you're catching like glimpses of them through it's like you're seeing the forest through the trees kind of deal with the, with the crowd okay so I will move through the crowd, mm-hmm. um, not necessarily directly at them, but move through through the crowd. You're like waiting indirectly, okay? Keeping an eye on them and trying to slowly get closer to Are them. Are you trying to stay out of their, are you trying yep. to be stealthy about it? Yeah. Okay, roll a stealth check for me. Um, 
I mean, I, I could create an image of the bard and maybe we could see the attack go off early and figure it out. Uh, th where you sense that poison, by the way, um, you Wait have a bead on, on that individual. That is doesn't appear to be know. the same individual that he's okay. looking at. That's okay. make eye um, contact, so, like, try to put his eyes and, like, hold up your Because badge. he's not yes. near you. We gotta get within 30 feet. Okay. Come on. Or 60 so feet. So it's a different person that you're drinking, though. Yeah. 30 so, feet. Okay. Got you within 30 feet of that stage, then. We can get you close to the stage. What's up? So I got a 19 plus my one, so that's a 20 as well. 24 uh, stealth? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this person, you um, saddle up, or sidle up, however you want to say it, um, right behind five feet between this person. There's like, you, you're in that, like, uh, where like there's a stack of people and like the space between two people. The space between two people is the only thing separating you from this individual. So you could reach out and grab this person if you okay. really wanted to. Okay. Are you just gonna chill there? Yep. Okay, you got it. I mean, this is a complete guess, but like the closest thing I can think of to what we've described is like a plague rat. That would be a good start to a riot, or releasing a bunch of. I'm worried they flying. Insects. Yeah. What about like spreading a sturge or something could go like any. that? It could be flying. I'm just the closest thing that I can think of. Yeah, associate. Can we see this individual and see if they're carrying like a suitcase or something like that? That would be the, uh, the one that Argus yeah. yes. peeked out. Um, yes, I I'll say, I do want to do I do I, I I'm gonna sue this one in order to point out this individual with any sort of efficacy, you're going to have to somehow gesture in their direction um, rather than just describe, look behind you, look that way. Just because there's just so many people constantly moving about, I'm going to say I need you to roll stealth check to see how how inconspicuously you can, uh, if, it, if you want to share that information, how inconspicuously you can disseminate that information. As I'm pretending to rub my... Uh, temples, I'll try to like push my cloak out. So, like, because out what's going to happen <laughs> is that what what this role is encompassing is pretty much going to be everybody else's reactions to it and like looking and trying to be inconspicuous about it, which is could potentially give you away and make you guys. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Now I do have a question. Can sure. I see what's in the jar? Um, right now that you're right there, what you do notice one of the big things you do notice is that there appear to be holes. <laughs> punched into the the top of the jar like small like breathing holes or something like that um the the, the jar the the sack itself is like a drawstring sack that's gone goes right up to the very bottom of the lid of the metal lid of the jar and the metal lid is just metal um, um if you want to <laughs> if you want to try to like jostle somebody or like accidentally like pull down something, try to get a better look. And apparently the sack itself is opaque. If I'm pulling, I'm just snatching that shit. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, we'll just snatch. Okay. Um, no, I'm just gonna wait. Okay. I'll just keep an eye on. Him. I'm trying to move towards the stage, so I'm within at least thirty feet. Of the okay. Stage. Are you separating from the group then? Yeah. I will. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Um. So I have to roll my stealth at disadvantage. Because of my armor. Um, I'm, no, 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 I'm not gonna give you, here's. With disadvantage, I got a 17. Was it sleight of hand, really? Um, that's, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I would let you roll sleight of hand for this one if you want to, and that where it wouldn't be with, di with disadvantage. I'd rather just keep my disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> really? I 18 and a 16. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Okay, so 16 plus what? One. one. Plus, 17. So 17 total. Um, yeah, you're able to, like, you know, do I that, like, hey, again. look this way. And like pretty much me. anybody who's still in the pod, so not Co not Cole and like not Eleazar, everybody, everybody else. Um, Pernu is still with you, by the way. Um, <laughs> just in case you guys forgot. Uh, no, we had, but thank you. Was this this was in, was in 30 feet, where this person was standing? The one that Argus? Yeah. Uh, one, one second, let me get to that. Hey. We're all trying to do too much. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yes. For the moment, yes. The crowd is kind of like, it, it's, imagine it kind of like, it, it is, it moves every once in a while. It's not everybody just standing. It's kind of like moving about itself, like, like, like a bait ball of anchovies, kind of like moving about itself. Um, th sorry, one, one second. Um, the... You are able to share this information with everybody else, and they are able to spot the individual. The fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, 
Right. The other thing that you notice by doing so is that they also appear to have some sort of, I don't want to say luggage or sack, but they have some sort of like other carryable item on them. Uh, uh, like uh, it, what, it, what it looks like here is some, uh, like a basket that is, that is quite large. That's, uh, that's tall and covered with uh, a piece of fabric that looks like they might be carrying like several baguettes or some other stuff within it. Um, just nothing too suspicious. Um, but that's where you had sensed. How long does that last? Is that consistent? Ten so you just constantly get that ping. You get another one as it as it comes into your your radius, um, coming over your left shoulder and straight like do that to to your left. That kind of like passes for a moment into your radius and then disappears. Also, well, after he points out the person, mm -hmm. ghostly gaze. Ghostly gaze. You look into mm. it. And you are able to look into this possibly baguette basket, and you see a large glass jar with a bunch of small flying insects. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll I'll telepath that around to everyone who's still okay, who I still know where they are. I, I felt good, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it did. I, I, I had a suspicion it was nice to get that suspicion confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> I was making a joke when I said that. Well, well and so, uh, kind of so like he's right. getting all the pings. I'm going to start looking around for, like, if there's if they're acting alone, if there's, like, a coordinated thing, if there's others. Um, right. Okay, so that more had to do with, like, the perception of, like, what he had noticed when he saw all those other people. Um Uh, now that you're trying, yeah, yeah, because you didn't roll that perception check before, right? Yeah, you can roll a perception check. Go ahead, yeah, you can roll a perception check for me um, for that one. Um, I'm trying to keep, as I get closer to the stage, I'm trying to keep a lookout for the bard because I want to be able to talk with him as soon as I can and when I see him before he's up on the stage. Okay, so you're trying to intercept him. Not necessarily like go up and intercept him, but yeah, I'm trying to start him trying to intercept him before so. he gets on stage. Like you're trying to be like, hey, hey, my dude. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, because the closer you get to the stage, the more density of vocal representatives you encounter that are kind of just like directing the flow of traffic just to not be like right up on the stage. Right. Uh, they're like, kind of like acting as bouncers, but a little bit more lackadaisically, but they're not, they're being like, oh yeah, go and that I'm, way, go that way. It's kind of like, I'm kind of like that person at the at the concert who's trying to get as close as possible but without like without security. aggravating them yeah, yeah without sure. security so I'm like I'm like tr I'm like staying just on that line okay. where I'm seeing them pushing people cool off. cool you know what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say roll just a straight charisma check to see how like non-threatening yet like oh yeah the dude with the red eyeballs yeah <laughs> <laughs> ah very very nice well, yeah, the only one with red eyeballs 24. 24. Yeah, they're like, they're, they're just like, yeah, whatever, this dude's just hanging. Like, uh, we don't care. Like, 18 plus 5 plus Like, you've, you've kind of established the frontmost point of the farthest someone can get. Yeah. Um, what you do notice that you're up here is that there is a stairwell off to the left side of the stage that probably, like... Would break would where somebody would be go unless they pull themselves up onto the stage in order to get up on the stage. Okay. Um, if you want to sh kind of shimmy over in that area, you can. There you can. You only get like so much closer to there. Yeah. But once you do, and once you get past like the drapery that is on the side of the stage, you do see what looks like a few people, and you do see. Ooh, this is a very good. You do see uh, robes of what would look like, very kind of like. Chaucer esque, um, like Ulrich von Lichtenstein kind of style of like Some, something that like I've seen in the college where like people like were doing the oration. Yeah, it's like I've got colors. Pay attention to me. I'm talking. Um, that kind of thing. Um, and it looks to be the half elven. Yeah, it was half elven. The half elven orator that you had witnessed before that was like rock and stone. Um, when I did he have a two perception. It was two on perception. Yeah, there's two people moving around. It's too crowded. Yeah, it's too crowded. <laughs> um, he did he have an accent? I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was just rock and stone. Uh, I think it was British, right? Yeah, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, okay. That's, that's it's hard to keep track of all the fucking yeah. accents. Uh, when I see him, though, I'm going to go, brother, brother, look, and I'm going to try and direct, like, even like giving directions to him of where I am, and try and flash my badge to him from the crowd. 
Are you trying to speak to him telepathically or yep. verbally? Telepathic. Telepathically. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting. Go ahead and roll another straight charisma check for me. Because I can't really call this persuasion and deception. This is just straight up, like, how alluring and, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, distracting are you being? Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> come here. What's up? Well, like I said, I keep saying brother, and I'm trying to flash my badge. Hey, bro, uh, come here. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. <laughs> 19. 19. Um, yo, yeah, you get this person, like, they're, like, in the middle of a conversation in the sentence, and they just kind of turn up their head and turn around, and they look at you. I'm flashing my badge at you, them. Your bean? Yeah. Or your badge? What, the, what my bean. My bean. My, my, you the, have the, a badge? No, well, I call it my badge. Oh, okay, okay. You flash the, the, the bean. Badge the, of the, the bar badge. Badge. <laughs> little bean. Um, <laughs> the bar it's college. kind of a badge, right? It's a badge. It it is. It's a bad. It's like it's like the it's size of like the Pokemon badge. badges. It's yeah. that like it's that. Big. But that's that's what I'm trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm doing it. Okay. Nothing. Says like the person <laughs> sitting at a table playing Dungeons and Dragons. Like shut the fuck up. Um, okay. Uh, yes. Yes. You 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 um, you pull off your bean. You'd be like, hey, come here. Like, yeah. You know, or like just like as in a brother like. I'm showing it to him once I see that he's cool, this cool. way. Your then. passive insight kind of gets like, oh, you have my curiosity. Um, and um, and he kind of saunters over your way, but he doesn't uh, cross the threshold of like the line of Vogel that have like kind of created like a bouncer line. So well, you're like I'm, talking in between the space of two of them. Well, and I'm still doing it mentally going, there. we've heard that there is going to be a riot. There will be an attack specifically on you and the words that you speak for Vogel. My uh, like he kind of tilts his head and looks at you like, um, and do I know you from somewhere? I, I do not believe we interacted at the college, but you sound very familiar. And then I... I get that a lot. I was a student of Rudolfo. Oh, how is the old crotchety fool? It's crotchety as ever, but... Ah. Uh, you know, when he told me that door lecture that one time about, you know, things behind closed doors, I... I was, I'm going to be honest, I was the one that spread that rumor about him hitting his own ass on the... Uh, 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 letting the door hit his own ass on the way out. Uh, oh, you were the one who started that oh, one. Oh, it was my masterpiece, yeah. Oh, he hated that one. He uh, used to yes. bring it up as if we started that another one like that, he would totally expel us. Well, <laughs> well, let's be both be grateful that he didn't follow up on that thread. No, however, um, his behind closed doors are how I ended up with a barrel of gunpowder at one point. Well, <laughs> now that's a story I would love to hear sometime. <laughs> this is all mentally, too. I'm not saying any of this out loud. Oh, oh, so he starts talking to you and you start back talking back to him just in the thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll do a regular conversation about Rudolfo, but... The, the gunpowder gun thing. Powder, I'm doing mentally. So he's like. So when you say that, he's like, "Is that you?" It's a little trick I picked up. Huh. Locked doors are even Can better when they don't that realize. I don't even know how I learned it. But you know what? Locked doors don't mean much when I can talk right through them. You seem to be doing well. As well as a part of the college does. What brings you to... <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't have too much time to talk. I do have a prior engagement, of course, but... Travel. Perhaps Enough. we can meet up some other time? Yes, talk? yes. I would love to pick your brain <laughs> about uh, this. I'd love to discuss more with you as well. And I want um, to hear about that gunpowder. Or that black powder. Cause like... Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot myself. <laughs> but he does say, a riot. But, at the, but as he's going that, Cole will send, be aware, a, wi a riot. In, in the head? Yeah. Okay, so you're just like, attack. a riot, an attack. I'm like, I'm like, he's like, I'm, I'm sorry? Ed. Trust that I'm trying to help. Some information that I've learned that I could not let another bard suffer oh, through. being clandestine, I understand. Um, I assure you, we've taken great care to make sure that the security of our representatives are solid. 
Because, you know, anybody who would attack a bard always takes direct routes. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he thinks there for a moment and like he, it looks like he's about to like turn away and do his thing and he's like and then he turns back he's like you had my curiosity but now you have my attention uh, <coughs> do you care to elaborate um, if I may do you mind if I come closer the, I, I need your permission these these guys are roll persuasion not, check and let me through come on at least 10. I need at least a 10. 13. 13 total? Yeah. I rolled a 2. Well, as to your own admission, you just gave me warning that there may be some some threat to me and mine, <laughs> so I, I'd rather not. Understandable, but be aware. Of course. Uh, could you give me a hint? Um... I've always been more of like, you know, off the cuff, wear my heart on my sleeve, out, you know. Never really did the whole clandestine spying that I think that you're probably well, more. Um, so here's where I'm actually going to do two separate things. I'm okay. going to try and give him just a story of, we heard these random people talking at a tavern. While out in, loud, but. While inside I'm going, it. in the whispering. Cool, cool, super the, cool. In the, in the whispering wall. In between our rooms, we heard a clandestine meeting between these clans about how they were going to stage a riot and kill you. Okay, but you're like telling a story of like of just of overhearing no two drunks talking in a tavern and everything. Sure, like, like how everybody else heard about it. Yeah, cool. Really, really awesome. I love that idea. I don't think that's going to require any roll. What I am going to make you do, however, is I'm going to make you just roll a straight charisma check, just to see how convincing this whole. Sh I don't want to say charade, but just... Um, My spiel is? Yeah. Try, try and have two conversations at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah that is... I mean, if there's one person that can handle it, it's a bar, it's a bar of the college. Yeah, yeah, I just... Ten. That's not easy. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Um, it is... This is still, you know... Uh, this isn't, like, new to you, but it's not... A, I'm still uh, yet learning a it second, out a little yeah. bit. It's not quite yet a second language. So every once in a while, so the thought, both kind of stories end up a little disjointed. I'm going to roll a lock check here to see if he kind of catches the gist of what it is you're trying to. Well, and he's hearing, he's basically hearing an echo of myself uh, too. I'm going to, I, I, I made a mistake. I'm going to do it in the front here okay. because I shouldn't have done that under, uh, behind closed doors. the tower? No, I don't think so. I do. Nine? Nine. Okay. I tried. <laughs> um, he kind of looks at you like, uh, like he's trying to react to both conversations at the same time and like trying to listen to both of them. And he's, like, oh. we should do this another time. Just be aware, brother. Just be aware. And then I'm always kind of do the whole. Vanishing back into the crowd Fade to meet up crowd. with, wow. faded back into the crowd to meet with the others. Oh, how very dramatic! Bye. The last thing I say is, well, would you expect anything else from Opa? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just hear him like whisper to the, like one of the Mo Vogel attendants. right next, like, you know, I have to buy him a drink sometime. <laughs> but yeah, I disappear and I go find the group again and be like, I you got to it. Warn him. Um, you got it. Um, he has been as warned as much best as warned as you could, yeah. Um, I tried. You know what I want to do? Time. You were in his head quite a bit. I want you just to roll an insight check on that whole conversation. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. You roll like me. I know. Can you stop <laughs> sitting next to me? <laughs> Your bad luck's rubbing off. <laughs> no, my bad luck's mm. always been there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did. Okay. No, we. No. I hate that. I mean, okay. you can always take from my bag. You can just be like, Free. um, okay. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, I, I hope it got through, but. So. Quick question. Yes. For the, stage. the stage 
is it just like a single platform or are there posts going up or like there are like there are um like posts framing? going up there's there's framing that goes along the side that are long enough to put like banners okay like hanging banners along which are like are currently unfurling the colors and emblem of Vogel okay. along and the how, sides. How big is the stage? The stage looks to be about like twenty feet wide and okay. ten and maybe like eight feet deep. Okay, gotcha. Um, and uh, and does have along the left side past one of those framing that would have the banner, kind of like where a curtain would be on a stage, mm-hmm. but in the front rather than within it, um, does have that stairs that would go up to. Okay. The stage. Okay, um, it does cross, but no, it's okay. It crosses behind the banner like frame, and then the person would come on stage. So, like, and there appear to be that's the one that you saw. It, you, as you get like kind of like a better look at it, it, looks to be the stairs on both sides, and that like the the framing that has the banners there are meant to be have people like in waiting, like at, at stage left and stage right off the stage so people can do stuff and then come onto stage and everything. It's like it's very, very, it's very budget. Well, not budget, I don't want to say it, but it's very rudimentary for a functional public stage. Um, granted, if you were behind the stage, you could see everything. It's kind of like what somebody would put up if they were like a traveling showman yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Except it's quite large. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. What are the rest of you guys doing? It's starting to get like rabble, 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 rabble. I sense more than one. I'm gonna try to go towards and see how many I can sense running. Through okay, the can you please roll a luck check for me? I want you to do it right here. Alright. Do you want to borrow like, some of my dice? Ten. No. Ten. Uh, you sense two more. Can I get kind of like centralized to them? So um, can... you you you're passing through them, and it appears like um, like I said, it's like the, this crowd is kind of like a bait ball that just is constantly like moving and swirling about itself. Um, there's people moving, and like and then like they're like oh they are and meeting other people. Like it's 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 not like a normal concert crowd where p- people just pick a spot and they stand. It's the people are moving about, and um, it, which makes it so hard to get a beat on somebody, um, because as soon as you move, other people are moving suit. So you notice that at least. Two or at I say exactly two. Enter your radius and then exit it along your kind of circuit from the central area. As you kind of like go to the central area, try to get the brown on the periphery and then come back to the group. Unless you want to like stay in the center and just stand there. I want. I kind of wanted to be as central as I could to as many as I can find. Yeah, you, you like I said, you move about. That's what you sense. You sense two. Um, granted, you don't know how many there may be, but um, and and the cr- it's this is hard. You are wading through a very very thick crowd of people, so this is this takes time. Um, and like y- if if you want to continue moving or staying in a, or finding a spot to find centralized, that's going to be where you're going to be for the foreseeable future. Do, do I run into so him? It's up I'm to you back. whether you want to like hightail it back to the group or not. Like, cause so, like I said, it is moving. It's mellifluous, but it's like moving slowly. Well, I'm working my way back through. You could run into me and hang out by me, but I don't. Think of it like a, a cul-de-sac with high traffic, um, uh, or like like the the ones in uh, the Europe that don't have any lines on them. It just kind of governs itself. Like oh, you're talking about a roundabout. Yeah, yeah, roundabout. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like a round a roundabout, like 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 a lot of triomphe, uh, like the roundabout <laughs> there, like, where it just kind of governs episode. itself. But it, like when it's high traffic, they just like constantly are swirling in like a uh, uh, kind of like a whirling der- dervish, but very 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 slowly. It's kind of like that, but it kind of but some parts go opposite directions, and sometimes so. I am worried that this is not. Are there any open flames? Just out of curiosity. Yes, yes, there are. um, It it is. Yes, there appear to be. They're they're very sparse throughout. They're very scarce throughout. There appear to be like one or two buildings nearby on the outskirts of where the crowd would like kind of collide into, like on the outskirts of the streets. Um, Because remember, I said so. It's a two-lane street that goes this way, and then a one-lane street that intersects with it. Where the corners of those one-lane and two-lane streets meet, there's. A torch, a sconce, and um, there is a torch on either of the frames on the stage. Okay. So from what you can notice, the torches that give out any sort of like noticeable light that would help at all are the four ones that are there. Just curiosity. Sure. Planning for mm-hmm. things to happen. And so the gnome who was standing in front of me, 
Yes. Is is he still right there? Yes, yes, no, he's, yeah. Okay, he still has his backpack mm -hmm. with the mason jar. So, okay, so I'm just going to stick with him. Okay, yeah, you're just going to be his buddy. Yep, I'm just going to stick with him. You got it. Um, yeah, I'll carry over your stealth check. You're you're good. You As long as you don't, like, like move and start to, like, do any actions, you are for the foreseeable future. Stalking like, your prey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I am I am worried that this is not a single assassination attempt, but rather an attempt for the whole crowd to yeah. be killed, so... Well, me, that's a way to start a riot. You're going to start knocking them all out. Exactly. So if maybe as you as you go to try to find more, I can check in with you every once in a while, and you can point them out just mentally, yeah. and then I can work through Shikar to kind of keep an eye that way, too. Yeah, see if Shikar can pick out and keep a hold of the ones that I find. Yeah. So I've, I'll point out everyone that I've noticed. Okay, and I'll basically be relaying that the whole time. So basically trying to keep an eye on glass jar guy that we know mm -hmm. that we pointed out before, and then the two others. The first poison detected guy, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Argus right. detected. So, like, for the moment, the, the only two you have a bead on are Argus detected guy and Eliezer detected guy. But I thought you were about to I was, go. I was pointing out the two other ones I found. The two other ones... Mm, okay. To Shikar. Um, or to Shikar. Ooh. Because I'm, I'm sending message to, to Argus. And Watch then that Argus, guy. Watch that guy. Watch that And then guy. from, I warg into Shikar and basically okay. get a bite. Beat cool, cool. Shikar's Roll a, a perception check with advantage for Shikar because of his keen senses. Okay. And do we know where Eleazar is? Can we, we have visual with him? Um, he no, he rolled very high in his stealth. Gone. He's gone. Yeah. 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 Unless Sometimes your passive perception like beats 20, he's minutes. gone. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, 21. 21. Uh, you are able to pick out one of them. Okay. Um, the, the DC for picking out both of them was 25. These guys are really good. Um, I mean, that's not possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would I would give it to you if you roll a natural 20. Okay. That kind of thing. Um, but 21, great. You, so you got you are able to get a beat on it, be and because you have like kind of a bird's eye view, a vertical view, an overhead view from this. If you want Sakar to like keep kind of like just flying around in circles or whatever you want or just pick a, a vantage that's elevated, he can just a bird of prey keep a bead on this yeah, one Yeah, I'll send him up a little higher just so you okay. can see. You want to be on top of one of the buildings or do you want him to fly? I'll have him be up on one of the buildings. Okay. Not, yeah. Cool. Perched for right now. But sure. Still you got it. And he's got a bead on one of the individuals. So you've got Shikar... Jar dude, Argus Jar dude, and Eleazar Jar dude. Well, they're not, dude. They're all yeah, they're all people. different people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do do the other ones also have jars, or can they identify that? Or, not, um, uh, uh, all of them that you Argus's guy has a jar in the basket. We yeah. can't see the jar. The only stuff. thing that you've confirmed is that Argus's guy has a jar in the basket that is filled with tiny flying insects. Okay. Be it because of love. And that he your like dude yeah. has, has or person glass. has a has some sort of glass jar in the bag you don't know what's in it. Right. Um cuz but wait, it was no because Cole couldn't communicate that because he was off doing a thing. Correct. Um this other person that Shakar has just looks like they have um a, what looks uh like a, I want to say a burlap sack thrown over their back that they're just kind of carrying that looks to be some sort of something that they're carrying as well but you cannot see in it uh, and you don't know where this person is because only Shikar noticed him so you have bits and pieces of information from all three <laughs> but since I'm warged in Shikar or can yes. be can I because I'm still hanging out with you during this can yeah you I can tell, talk yeah can I tell you to look can t take a look at the guy over there with the uh, this is difficult because you're in his <laughs> thing and telling you to look over. But I would say, well, I'll would, say... I wish you could, like, clock the, it. Like, yeah, I'd like, work out, get back, and then try the, to... The rub the of that is that you're trying to do all this very, very quickly because things are starting to go down very, very quickly. Like, things are starting to happen. So I'm, I'm going to say this. Roll a communication check? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say, what would that be? Charisma? Charisma. Charisma. Um, or intelligence? Persuasion. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm doing. I would say, yeah. I would say right? intelligence. I would say intelligence check for you to try to describe it to him very, very. Um, Is that your second I, that one? Yeah. So. Oh I'm my like, god. So I'm. I'm trying to. 
communicate what it is, but I'm doing too many calculations and there's moving around, so it just doesn't come out of my mouth well. Yeah. Very much like Noel in real life. <laughs> yeah. You're um, giving him like bird of prey coordinates, which Log is like, what? <laughs> Sorry, like, like, I don't see anything over there. What? Yeah, are don't you see about? the, the, the like, tool around the A, like, no, down 15 no, degrees, down over there, six degrees a. off your left wing. There, there, like, there's not proper <laughs> syntax of the sentence she's saying you. She's just giving you, like, broken um, ideas that don't really co- make a coherent thought. I think something's wrong with Trishenny. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm broken. laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> this is our home life. <laughs> so, uh, so, I guess my thought is, and I could be completely wrong, but. If they're all going to be carrying jars to release, mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to cover every person that's coming. So we're just trying to mitigate the damages. Is that essentially? So yeah. how bad of an idea would it be if I cast Thaumaturgy on this whispers to say that people are going to release insects that are trying to knock the crowd out? Thinking by. doing something similar. Oh, like a like a like a public warning. Like a warning. Mm-hmm. Like an amber alert. <laughs> <laughs> like an insect alert. There's right. been poisonous insects in the area. <laughs> like, I don't know that the panic would be any safer than. I right know that's my problem. I think we just have to wait and mitigate as much damage as we can. What if we just poison the have? Right now. It's fun it's watching you guys. <laughs> it's not necessarily <laughs> lethal. <laughs> Depends on how much so. each <laughs> bite or sting delivers. But we can't know that until what's up? happening. But I want. Uh, sorry, this isn't working. Here, follow me. Uh, let's go talk to some people. I okay. go over to the guy with the jar, and I cast Charm Person on him. <gasps> and I try. Hey, you know what? So you're not. You're not trying to be stealthy. You're just straight up approaching him. You know, I'll just wander over with the okay. crowd and be like, oh, "Those baguettes look wonderful." I mean, can okay, I have yeah. that whole bag? I mean, I I got to take this back to my family. You know, and, what's the and range we'll, of charm person? Six. Uh, I'll double check. But you're already within range. Yeah, you so, uh, like you can like start casting it as you're walking over to him. Thirty feet. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Straight up, straight up. You can like start casting it as it, which like kind of uh, like Bam. disposes hey. or yeah. the the suspicion of you trying to be stealthy. You can just. You got it. Um, yes, they need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Correct. Okay. And since we're not She's fighting it, it's person. not it. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> guys, this is a big <laughs> fucking roll. So okay. yeah, we're see. gonna do this. <laughs> the blue. Um, I want to <laughs> put the die here. Actually, no, I have no, a bunch of bun- other d20s in here that I haven't used in years. So this one. <laughs> this one. Do I want to use? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Eight. Eight. No good. What's your DC? 17. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. No way. You chose your DC 17. Those look so good. Do you mind this? This is the gnome individual, correct? Oh. No, no, this is the one I found. I right. This is, a, this, this is a this is a human first. this is a human uh I don't think you told us. I think this, this is a human male. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I followed her over there. Yeah, so is... now do I see? This, well, is this is the one that you saw. saw this is, this one. is Argus's oh, one. This cool. is the one you saw. Yeah, yeah this is the one that you saw. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. This, is the, this, is, this is the one that you got. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is Arg- the one, Argus' right. insect jar. You know what's in there. Okay. This is the, okay. the baguette basket. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think you look lovely. The, uh, these breads that you're carrying, I'm sure they're they're fantastic. I'd love to take them back with me to my family, back in the mall, you know, after after we're done with our... Oh, hey! Hi! You know, I... I I can't I I I would love to, but I can't give you one. Why? I mean, I, because I don't have any. I'm oh. all I'm all sold out. Yeah. I mean, I love the basket work that you've got going on there. Oh, it's a purveyor thanks. of that. Yeah. Can I just buy the baskets for her? Um. I I mean, you know, I. Um. <laughs> charm. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I, oh, can I give you, like, you know, uh, a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take, take a nice. This is this will keep you filled for the rest of the day. And give a. Give Good a bear. Oh, you know, you've always been so kind. I know. Oh, it's it's just the berries like Nola used to make, right? This is ambrosia. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, you know, I can't believe we haven't had you over for dinner. Like, <laughs> I know. 
I know. It's, it's, it's been you know, too it's, long. It's right? been too it's really long. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Um, I, I, I'm. I, I really have to do this one thing. But I swear, as soon as I'm done tonight, I'd love to have you over for dinner tonight. Okay, you know, awesome. the, the wife, what, I'm, do you need help with it? Like, I can help you out? Oh, or? you're so sweet. You know, you've always been so generous. You've always been so kind. I just... Uh, you're, you're such a good friend. You know, I just... I, I'm so lucky to have, to have such good friends like you. I just... I know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, do you want to hug it out? Let's hug it down. Oh, bring it in. Oh, okay. good, good, good. oh <laughs> <laughs> I will make an attempt. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Roll, sleight of hand. I'm going to say add advantage because he is sufficiently distracted. That is hilarious. Oh, hurry up. This guy stinks. 15. 15. Yeah, go. that's good enough. Um, <laughs> you um, Do you want to like pull it out of the bag? And so is, is the basket. Like fully around so it? imagine it's like it's a very tall, it's a very deep wicker basket that kind of like comes up. It's like a, kind of like as if it was holding like a giant egg, um, <laughs> and, and that is then covered with like kind of that plaid blanket kind of deal. And it would look as though it it's could contain a, of its fr in in its interior to its handle and the bottom of the basket like a full size couple bag baguettes, right? But it, that's not what's in there. Right. Um, so your question is. Yes, the jar is the only thing in the basket. Right, but it's not like it's not attached and tied on the way. No, no, it's just, no, like it's just sitting in the blanket. basket, covered in that plaid blanket. So yeah, so I'm just gonna grab it. Uh. Now the basket is empty, and the blanket is no longer that doesn't tap the shape of anything. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go invisible. <laughs> 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 you yoink and disappear. Yeah. Boom. You just do that. And, and because you're holding it, it disappears with you. Right. Sweet. You got it. Because <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to be seen walking around with yeah. a jar. I love that. You're, right here. you're invisible for an hour or two until you right. attack or cast a spell. So, yeah, I'm just. Or yeah. How long does Charm right. Person last? An hour. Uh, no. Uh, no. Does they get a save? Or? No. You're, you're Charm. You're, you're just Charm for an hour. You're just Charm for an hour, yeah. for an hour. You got it. Yeah. You <laughs> got it. <laughs> He's your bed. He attacks or casts a spell. Yeah. Yeah. This is literally the end of the last sentence on there. So he just didn't know if using objects is... Oh, no, using yeah. objects you know, technically doesn't do that. It's... Yes, we should get dinner later. I think it's... I think it's gonna be really good. Um... <laughs> Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Are you here with other friends Especially right now too? Or? Yeah, you know um, the whole thing. I I met a, a great a, a great gang of peeps. You know, oh, like I, yeah, cool. you know, we started cool. this. You know, this the kind of coalition is like you know silly. You know, Oh, like, you know, well, because you gotta have like a cool yeah. name, right? It's, it's a, you know, the coalition. Yeah. That's like, you know what yeah. I mean? You know, it's like, you yeah. know, remember the lodge? And, right, you know, you know like, you gotta, yeah. uh, <laughs> how can I forget the lodge? I know, the hats were the best. <laughs> are you back where we were before? So I'm gonna go over there and tell Beth, open up your bag, open up your bag, open up your bag. I put it in. You, you just <laughs> into the bag of holding? Yeah. Boom, it's in the bag of holding! <laughs> Nicely done, nice. guys. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to where I, they are. And I saw you disappear because I was. I'm imagining the basket was behind him. I was giving him a hug, I, so I yeah. would know. You yeah. got it. You got it. You just <laughs> into the bag of holding, and you're still invisible. Yep. So I, I mean, yes, I'm gonna go back to where she is to see if yeah, he needs um, more mm -hmm. people. Uh, yeah, you're just shooting shit with him. So here's the deal: as long as you like continue to use your time to engage in a, in a conversation with him, he's not going to notice that that thing is missing. Okay, awesome. Um, and, go ahead. Um, I will try to convince him to kind of just introduce me to his buddies, show show him around. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Go like, oh, you want you want to meet the gang? Yeah, you that'd be meet? awesome. Because you know, I feel like. You know, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those games where, like, you know, you don't talk about the gang. The first rule about the gang, you don't talk about the gang. Yeah, yeah. And the second rule about the gang is, you don't talk about the gang. You know, we've been okay. to one of those places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but um, oh, as long as the person roll persuasion real, check at advantage. Okay, as long as the person's real, that's actually hosting the game. You know, because like, okay, so charm person works <laughs> the way it's supposed to work. It does not convince people to do stuff that they straight up would not do. Right. Well, this was persuasion? Which is, much Which is why the persuasion is necessary. This is the persuasion? Yes. At advantage. Ten. Ten. 
I, you know, I. I mean, I don't want to put you in trouble. No, but... it's, I just, you know, it's really hard to say no to you. And I, because, you know, you've done so much for the... You know when Billy got that cold last winter? Yeah. I, I, If it <laughs> wasn't <laughs> for you bringing that cough syrup, uh, like, you I went know. through three miles of ten feet of snow, uphill both ways. And that's right. a lot on the ground, you know? That's, 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 <laughs> a, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> That is a lot. That is that is a lot. You know, I didn't. You know, if I did, if if I wouldn't have believed the story about snow underground if it didn't come from you. I know. It's, 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 you see some weird shit down in the underdark, man. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you went down there. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you been down there lately? I mean, it's. I know it's a new kind of like vacation spot. Yeah. You, you know seen, what? Like, um, cool recently with the gang. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. What what you see down there? What was like your top ten favorite um, list? Not of great. That, no. Not great. Nothing. Oh. Nothing was good. Oh. Nope. Was oh. not good. Left. Wasn't good. Yeah, we canceled the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, to harsh the vibe. No, I... no, no. It's okay. I mean, things happen. You know, like uh, people get sick, etc. It yeah. happens, right? Like, yeah. so you have to cancel your plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like, you know, we had to cancel the plans for Billy when he got sick. The back I miss off. you. I miss you too. Do you want to go over to that vendor over there and get our little, um, like? You know. ah, sure, sure, right. why not? Yeah, right. yeah. Let's go over there and get it. Uh, he leaves his bag. Great. <laughs> Another Great. basket. Great. Uh, so yeah, you're over by the vendor, just um, shooting the shit a little bit. Selling more, buns. Getting... There's Vogel branded bread there yeah. that you guys are start chewing on. Um, I just try and find my way back to somebody in the group from where uh, I was. Yeah, at. sure. Uh, who you find? <laughs> <laughs> Zemda kind of stands out since she's on top of you know, Conk. Her. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, so I'll probably find him and I'll go. I'll send over to him mentally. Well, I tried to warn him. I don't know if he got through, but I tried. He at least talked to me. At this point, um, you see the orator step out from the frame onto the dais. And when I see that, yeah. I want to ask. And people, people start to like, oh, and Ooh, applaud and do a nice. bunch of other stuff. <gasps> Yeah? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> wisdom saving throw, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, let's see the big blue pill. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that is definitely a jacket blue pill. <laughs> I'm going to do this one. Well, Jack Little Pill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Keep using that those dice, please. Yeah, keep on using that. Love the tower. Uh, the let's go the tower. <laughs> okay. So um you you just you know, you do the somatic and vocal components and you cast the spell and the person just that was kind of scratching the nose just go. Then I walk over. And freezes. So you are very well about how the spell works. You have six seconds before he has a chance to break this. Does he? Yeah. yeah. At, at the end of every round, he has a chance to roll to break it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that backpack off of him. You're just gonna be, he just freezes and you just, reaction, just fucking grab it. Yep. Just very reactive, just <laughs> grab it. Yep. Your action to cast a spell and bonus action to grab it. Uh, what are you doing now? Uh, I grab it and I start walking away from him. Fast or like? Just, you know, do do do. Okay, cool. Crowd. It's a bit difficult now more to move through the crowd because now the ba the the bait ball, as it were, of the crowd has stopped moving, and now that there's a, something to pay attention to, I've all like kind of stopped and have like <clears throat> boom, and now everybody's paying attention and people start clapping yeah, and like hooting and hollering. Start just kind of you know you just kind of pushing your way through. You got it, man. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You start pushing your way through. It's gonna take you a bit to get to them. That's fine. Um, I am going to roll his first. Wisdom saving throw against you. You get a ways. Nine. 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 What's your DC? Thirteen. To check his stat block. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if he's got a plus four, then that means he has eighteen wisdom. Mm -hmm. You don't know just what these people. Or he's are. just proficient in it. Don't forget proficiency bonuses. Oh, that's true. <laughs> 
I do a plus seven. Wise well, person joins a gang. <laughs> wise person joins again. Excuse me. Clarence are a major group that would have the entire like wisdom and I mean, yeah. oh, you're describing a big gang. Wise person joins a gang. I mean, he's part of a gang I mean, of religious zealots. Like, that's kind of. I mean, when you I, go into I have cult, pretty good pretty wisdom, and I joined the bards, so and, uh, um, yeah, you don't look wise behind. Wise person right? joins a gang, <laughs> so you don't know. Okay, I fine. should actually just be rolling this back blindly. Just thinking about you know. She said, "Look, I mean, I have a 16 wisdom, and I joined." All he knows is that it took so I joined the game long enough for him to grab the jar. Yep, I guess a lot of wise people join games, so they have people. And you did it from behind. Dude, so, so, so here's what I'm gonna remember, say: remember, It's gonna take you. Where? Where's your de- targeted destination? Um, I am just walking <laughs> towards the stage more, just trying to see if I can spot anyone. He's looking for us. Are you looking? For, you're looking for your your compatriots. Yes. Okay. So you you know where they are. You for sure know where they are because like they have the, the the pod Old that you had right been in hadn't really moved. You guys like picked the picked the destination and you like resisted the movement. So you know where they are. I'm gonna say. I have no more pings. Then. Roll a d4 for me. A d4. Mm-hmm. Do I sense Elias are coming towards us? One second. Let me finish. Oh yeah. So how do you? It's. The number that's on top. Yeah. Right. <laughs> four. Four. It's going to take you four rounds okay. to get to your, the group because it is now, you're basically moving through difficult terrain of all these people okay. and you made a pretty wide arc moving across. I mean, you okay. could you could try and intimidate people out of your way too. You oh, could yeah. if you want to uh, draw attention. Draw attention. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. It's going to take you four rounds. So okay. that was the first round. So you have three more. Okay. okay? Um, you will only sense him when, when he sees within 30 feet of you. So that will only be like the last round. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So, while that's happening, ladies and gentlemen, and, oh, and everything in between, uh, Nine Barnary and all welcome, uh, Vogel welcomes you to an impromptu I don't even want to say oration. I want to say enlightenment. Enlightenment <laughs> of what is going on in our current state of affairs in Steercrag. Can I hear a rock and stone? Rock and stone. <laughs> very well, very well. Thank you very much. Now, I'm sure you are most keenly aware, and that's where he's going to roll his, his other wisdom saving throw as he moves. <laughs> Peeking over. Okay. Um, You are most keenly aware of the situation that we all find ourselves in. A vote of no confidence, and rightfully so. One that has found weakness. One that can't even pull themselves from the grief of what would be a warrior to have loss on the battlefield. And though we all feel for the loss of a child and a loved one, as I'm sure many of us have felt, we all know that uh, we expect more of our leaders to band themselves together in order to make sure that the cohesiveness of the state that we are in continues to perpetuate with strength, rock and stone. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. You're alone. So he's last turn, right? It's coming. You sent him now. This is third turn. You sent him now, but he's on the very edge of your radius. Well, you don't sense him. You sense another Mm -hmm. thing, poison thing, coming your way. One's coming, guys. Over there. It's just here. Yeah, I'm going to point at where Eliezer's coming from, because I can only sense that another one's coming close. Right. Are you guys back with him, or is it just you guys together? Because right now it's just you two. Because I'm over with yeah. Trishani yeah. and the. And you're, you're, well, no, and I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> so back with oh, the three. Right okay. Three of Purdue is probably still with us too. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It's right, Purnu. the four of us. <laughs> um, okay, and then it goes back to the orator. Oh no! Oh no! He's going back to the orator. Clan Vogel is here to remind you that we. Among our wonderful assortment of strong individuals who have delved through the mines and protected you from the reaching breach, that we will always be here for you. We will always know 
that although you are powerful and you are strong and you protect the ones that you love, we shall not be weakened by loss. No, it will only make us stronger to strive forward for a better tomorrow. Rock and stone. Rock and, Rock and stone. stone. Rock and stone. He has failed every single one. Yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, I see Eliezer. Yep, it's here. Yeah. Boop. Parting through the mm -hmm. crowd. Uh, yeah. I hold my bag open. You to him. spot Eliezer. He's not a too easy spot. You, you like, and you're like, okay. Another thing in there. Okay. How are we going to use these later? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure something out. If your intention <laughs> is to grab as many of these as possible, you still have one individual, at least that you are aware of. Right. Where is the other in? Jakar is keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, would you guys like to do anything while this person is talking? Because that was a couple rounds. Where does Shakar? He's posted up um, top. I'm chat like I'm chatting with the guy up, but I don't know. If, like, have you checked in with me mentally at all? Or? When I came back, I probably would have been like, "I'm here." Okay. There. There's one more. I'm here, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more. I'm just chewing a big old bite of bread while, yeah, yeah, you know, while I'm saying this mentally, just so he doesn't chaos. think I'm being weird. Um, There's the one more guy over there. I can make a. Can you point, image point me to the direction? Can, can you try the They're sneak? off. Or get. Oh, well, no, you have rejoined them. Oh, no, no, no. no they're, uh, they're off a little bit. Yeah. They're not too far. I, I can't say that you're more than 30 feet from the pod of the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. um, because like you, you guys are kind of near an edge, and you just went off to the edge to be like, ah, oh, okay, let's get some breathing. Mix those two. He's over there. Yeah, he's, he's over there. Um, Shikar will swoop down and kind of distract the dude for a little bit. If you can kind of try to just go and get from him. Too. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you. I have an idea as to where this individual just, is. Just yeah. blue shoot a message at me when you're in position. Um, and I'll send you well, you did not do a good job of explaining before, and you were like, I don't know. But <laughs> now you've had a little bit more time to do it. Once well, I can watch Shakar see go. Uh, yes, you yes. If you watch the car like on. swoop down, everything. Yeah, yeah easily. So, yeah, so Shakar will. Uh, is he going to do that right now? Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get in position. Get a little bit. Yeah. And t but message me when you're. Yeah, message me over. Message me once you're there. Yeah, you can get like left, right, or straight. Right. <laughs> That's about what you can get. Um, That's cool. beautiful. <laughs> I wish I what's what's beautiful? Uh, bring it back to the top of our conversation. Have Shakar poop on him. <laughs> <laughs> Mark the spot. Uh, yeah, I mean. That's a distraction. Poop? Remember, it rains here as poop. That's right. That Remember, so, so they're already used to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Log right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Well, I'm not the one who's doing the book. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so if nothing else, the orator continues. Um, <laughs> however, as you would expect of your leaguers, league, oh, leaguers? excuse me, pardon me very much. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just so nervous seeing such a wonderful bunch of you here to support Clan Vogel that I got a little verklempt and I apologize, but as you would expect of your leaders, we are not without compassion. And Vogel will give Stone Worm the chance to step down graciously, to abdicate their power in order for them to save face. We are gracious, we are strong, and we are compassionate. Rock and Stone! Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. He's loving it. Look, yeah. he's, he's loving that we're getting in there to be his. We're, we're being his background NPC. Yeah, so. I love it. <laughs> you can totally tell. I'm in my hand. <laughs> uh, you guys doing anything? Well, so, well, so what's we're doing our, Yeah, we're doing our. We're you're our doing chance. your thing, right? I mean, you're in position. Uh, do you want me to keep um, looking for thank people? Thank you, thank you. Dude, you, you are straight up in position. Wherever you point me so that's an all message to the okay. may just have to just send up. All right. Oh, oh so are you trying to like, um, correlate it or, or like time it with the same time that people start chanting? Well, no, so I'm just... So that like, it's not, it's not just obvious that this fucking bird just swoops down and poops on somebody? No. I mean, that probably could help, but... I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm more, it's more just that like, 
I'm in position to see who Shakar is marking. Sure. Then you know he does the distraction. I'll say like then, whether then you meant or not, it kind of lines up that way. Mm-hmm. Just because you like yeah. you get in position and people start cheering and Shakar just you lose swoops down. Um, yeah, you straight up see yeah. this yeah. individual. Yeah. It looks like a, a halfling. Um, it looks like a halfling, uh, female. Her, she's bald. Uh, she has uh, a single earring in her left ear, and she wears a type of cloak that doesn't it doesn't have a hood, but just goes across her face like this, and you just see oh, the earring right face. here. Zimda, <laughs> um, yes. are you gonna connect to me? And I'm gonna go look. Jesus. No, I was more like you only created distraction. Like single earring, with my mar- with my bald <laughs> head, cloak around her face. Yeah, keep the paper bag on. <laughs> on how you do it, get the crowd to clear out. Do you guys want me to use major? Do you guys want me to use a spell to create a distraction in the crowd? What um, do you want me to do? Do you want to stir up the crowd? Was there more? Oh, so, yeah, so, 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 that, that's that's what, so that's like what happens in the second thing. He comes down, he poops, you spot it, you start to head that way. Yeah. Make sense? And he's yeah. trying to just. Yeah, You're invisible too, yeah, still, right? right. And Roll stealth check with with advantage, and at the DC solo, because fucking goddamn. <laughs> um, you do have to like invisible. nudge through people though, so it's like. A little weird to watch. Well, real great, but still. All of a sudden, people I mean, are just like, like jostled to the side. <laughs> how far away from the people stage think are that there's just like a halfling moving through that's like on on yeah, how inordinately far away from strong. The stage are we? Yeah. Um, I assume from my mental image of where you guys are is like this is the stage facing this way. If a bird's eye view, like this is the stage facing this way, and you guys are kind of. Uh, okay, I have to do it like like if it was a mirror. So you guys are kind of like off here near one of the corners where the single road meets the double road. Does that make sense? So you realize they're still basking in the torchlight a little bit. One of bit. the back corners. And Trishenny and Log, yeah, one of the back corners. Back and right Log corner. and Trishenny had kind of like moved off a little bit more down the, uh, the single road and off to the side a little bit towards one of the vendors to get some bread. Uh, and then they kind of. But I mean, like, what kind of distance across? So Shenny is still busy with that dude, by the way. Right. What kind of distance across? Of the the single the single lane road, I'd say fifteen feet. No, I mean to the stage. So across to the, the stage, double, thirty. More, I'd say 45. fifty. Okay. Because they're wanna... set back down the single lane. Yeah, they're like they're like set. Or so rated. you know how there's like there's the road, and then there's kind of like not necessarily a sidewalk, but like the. The, uh, the banks of a road that that kind of where the vendors get room to set without interrupting people trying to get out from the buildings like that uh, that's kind of like that whole that whole bank is where and and intercepting the single lane road is where that stage is so yeah it's a good 50 feet away I'm too far from my mic I should I can't lean back every time there's a rock and stone yeah I kind of want to look around and See if I can notice people not cheering. And then you create an illusion of a Oh. I want to find the people that aren't really there. Let's have do a roll for The people that aren't there for the... You got it. The rabble-rousing. Gizmo, we have an idea. (laughs) You do you, bud. I'm trying to find more jars. (laughs) We're trying to clear out the space. (laughs) I don't know if that's going to be... poison? I, I have it up still. Okay. But I mean, that, that would I mean, be but I could go. The spell. I, I want to go towards the stage because so I, I, I want to see if we can find more people. Uh, you want to yeah. separate from the pod? I'm going to move yeah. with him. Okay, so Cole and Argus start to move ever so slowly towards the stage. Like, I'm just going to call it north for, right. for, for here. Yeah. Like, let's just pretend the stage is north and the, the, the two lane road runs west east. Okay? Just for easy. Um, you guys start heading north. Uh, uh, Trishenny is still like nor- south by southwest along the single raid road past that area near kind of like the torchlight talking with the one dude. You have moved far east. Um, far like n- east by northeast on like farther eastern side. My eastern side. Uh, Eleazar, you have made it back. You're still with the pod. You, you and Zemdek are the only people. You're, <laughs> you're the pod. Pernua. <laughs> you, Zemdek, and Pernua. Yeah. Um, Pernua is... Straight up, not sure what the fuck to do. Uh, she just is listening to what you guys tell her to do. She's mostly silent most of the time. We're, 
and we're like whispering and talking mentally and not actually saying things out loud since we're in a crowd. I mean, so that's the thing. Like, she is used to you guys. She, you're gonna do what she's gonna, what you're gonna do, and she's gonna she, instinctively react when she feels like she needs to react. The guard inside of her knows that a riot is coming, and she knows that crowd control is gonna need to happen when that happens, and she's gonna like jump into action and start like preventing people from trampling each other. Is like pretty much what she's gonna start doing. She's gonna jump into action and stab Argus like. No. <laughs> Um, that's like that's kind of like what she's standing by to do. Otherwise, she's leaving all the clandestine shit to you guys. Um, cool. Um, are, you're still on conch, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, you got it. Okay. The orator continues. Um, so I haven't made it to. I've actually made it. Like uh, no, you. It's it is a ways. Okay. It is a ways. Um, because like Shakara scooped down it. You spot it where it was, but it's a ways. And again, difficult terrain well, moving through all these people. The, the whole being in position thing was okay. me being in the right. area that she. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you started heading there. I say. I'd say after this one, you'll make it there. Yeah, yeah. You just, it just, you still need some travel time, but yeah, you because it's gonna take you because it took you one round to get in a kind of general area, and now that you have a specific, after this one, you'll be making it to where it is you need to go to. Um, I'll say that your stealth check will carry over, which is what would you get for advantage? Uh, it was only thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Um, pardon me. Um, so, God, <laughs> with the good sound now, nothing. <laughs> um, okay, so. That's what you think. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, it's not right. <sighs> People of Steercrack, you are very well aware that this is not what it is that we intended to do here. You know that we would rather make sure that the strongest, the most sturdy, the most dense leader takes control of this city by a legitimate means in order to propel you forward to progress. But unfortunately, Life itself has different plans. And the only thing that t stands the test of time and life for longer than any other material that we know of, of course, of adamantine, but that's not part of this analogy, is rock and stone. Rock and stone. 22. 22. For someone who's not dense. Mm. I want someone intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Zemdek. You see. I'm just imagining. This. It's really funny. It's really funny. It's hard as hell, Kelly. 22. <laughs> fuck. I rolled an 18, so that's. Zemdek, you see what looks like about as good as I can get. <laughs> a a dwarfen individual. Okay. Um, uh, you, you can't just because of what's going. You can't really tell who they are, or what they are, or anything. You just they could just tell by their 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 stature, their their gait, and their movement that they are a dwarven individual. Um, on the far east side, far northeast side, duck under the banner that that. Uh, that covers the bottom of the stage itself. Like, like, um, so, like, the stage has a floor, right? Yep. And then it has a, a like, a, a, a drape, like a, like a table tail, like a tablecloth would, over the side of a table. It's kind of like that, like but it covers the front end to kind of like put the professional wrestling ring where they can go underneath and get. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. But like, yeah, it's like, um, yeah. So it's you know, so chairs, it's a, 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 a drape, yep. and it, and they just kind of <laughs> duck under, stealthily duck under there. That's the one. That's like one of the people that you caught, not being not part cheering, of the crowd, and then quickly moving when people started to go rabble, 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 rocket stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Um, how long have we, as a group, been inside this square? Uh, don't make me give you an exact time. Um, please don't make me do that. <laughs> has Half it been hour, more than an hour. I would hour. say, no, it has not been more than an hour. Okay. No. Um, did he 
dodge no, through? No, you've got quite a bit of time left on your charm. Did he dodge through security? More going. Or did he, like, sneak it's around kind of behind, behind him? <sighs> you got 22? Uh, yep. Grimmy. Did, like, he get the wink and, like... That's more where I was going. Did I'm going to say that is counts. that is a very, very, very difficult perception check. That's fine. I'm going to say you weren't able to tell. All you know is that there they was made one it close. through. That they made it. That, that they made it through. Like all. Like the what you caught was the tail end of it. You caught the 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 drapery Falling moving, him, and an individual of just like split glance looks like a maybe a dwarf dip under it okay. under the stage. Anybody doing anything else? Oh, well, so you you are yes. Um, when Shakar is assisting by distracting me. Yeah. So you yeah you vanish only you don't get double advantage. Um. So. Uh, you are moving that way. Uh, you see the individual that Shakar had like pooped on. It's like, oh, and then just kind of turn directly in your direction and like notice the people being parted <laughs> without anybody there, like being pushed aside. Hmm. And then just like start to pick up their bag and start to move away from that area. Can Shikar, um, so you're now in like a bit of a chase with this person. Can Shakar try to distract again by, because of the way you describe them, he sees it as a giant egg and is going to sit on the nest that this egg is in for the cow. <laughs> oh, because of their bald head? Bald head being with He's the cow going to nest here. his bald, their bald head. Yes. Her bald head. Her uh, bald head. Just kind of sit on it, try to incubate it as a distraction. <laughs> it, it's almost a, I don't, the way Pythagoras died. I don't kind of know thing. how to respond to this. Which I, is the best part is, is that this is a burrowing owl, so it's this big. I <laughs> will say <laughs> this is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so now this you just have to keep your own car <laughs> sitting on the I will <laughs> say. <laughs> um, Sometimes the stupidest plans are the best. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what do I even make? I'll, I'll <laughs> make an attack roll. I don't even know. Just roll a luck check? I, I can't even put it in a thing. Like, just roll a luck check for Shakar. All right, buddy, come on. Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that my <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, no. gosh. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. Um, okay, okay, no. Gigi, okay. <laughs> you, you can do this. Okay, so Shakar, you see her start to like start to hightail it like away from wherever you are located, and um, Shakar just comes down and goes and just straight up lands at her head, and she just freezes for a moment, being like, "The fuck," and um, Shakar just goes and just starts like really digging in with the talons and being like, "No, this is where I'm supposed to be." They're like, and you just hear, "Ow, ow, ow, get off." Um, they're gonna make an attack on Shakar. I mean, he'll, he'll like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, does a nine hit? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll, I'll double check, but I don't uh, think so. so. They're just if like, I remember correctly, no, no it does not. No, so Shakar just grabbing on with his talons, putting his hands up and like, can you get me? And just throw it around. Um, it is, it is essentially slowing them down to the point where you could catch up to them possibly next round. Um, they <laughs> have been tipped off that they, they, they could be possibly being tailed, though. So, like, you, because they rolled really, 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 really high on their perception, there was like, that doesn't look right. And um, then they were running away. So, you, you're, it's going to be another round before you can catch up with this person. Uh, but this is absurd. Um, so, okay, great. The or, so, as opposed to some of our other crowns. plans? Great, you guys are moving north towards the stage, right? Um, you guys, um, by this time, make it as close as you can without like pushing to the front of the line. Do I see anything odd as we're moving Did, forward or anything like that? Um, roll perception check. Did I sense any more people on the way? Now that you're here, you sense something in the stage. I'm not preparing anything officially, but like I'm getting ready, like I'm watching that um, side of the stage, mm -hmm. and I've got like I'm ready to react if something happens. Okay. What's in the stage? Is it the same? Mm. Same bugs and everything. Same well, you didn't creatures? sense bugs, but yes, I sensed a bunch the of the same feeling. Yes. Poisonous. Yes. Creatures. Not creatures. poisonous. Poisoned. Poisoned. Poison creatures. In this stage, like under it? 
and slap you specifically. Is, well, it, did you just hit your microphone? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he said you're gonna slap you me. Spank. You. <laughs> uh, Fifteen on perception. Fifteen on perception. I mean, this. Uh, you look at the bard, your new bard friend that's up there. He's doing a great job. He really knows how to like, you know. Like control his facial muffles, m- muffles, <laughs> muscles, and be evocative in his in his speech. Do you he knows what he's doing. About the things underneath oh, the stage. Absolutely. Are we close enough that I can hit him? Hit the bard mentally. Not mentally, are we? Th- oh. Are we within thirty feet of him? Uh, I would say like just yeah. But we'd have to if I could sense them. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, because he's on top, so he's got a little bit of a leve- a, a, a elevation true. on you. But yes, I would say just yeah. Um, I send to him, there's something poisonous under the stage. Under the stage, there's something poisonous. Okay, so this is what happens. He speaks. So I ask you, good people of Steercrag, shall we stand aside and let apathy and inactivity rule our lives and rule ourselves? Or shall we take it upon ourselves to make sure that We take the future with an iron fist (laughs) and make sure that we are as firm and righteous and strong as rock and stone. Rock and stone. stone. Fogo, fogo, fogo. Um, Passive perception 16 or higher. Just those two? Okay. (laughs) You guys here, (laughs) you guys here in the back to the left or the right, you hear, Hey, Rick. Herrick and Mortanic, Mortanic. And you hear rabble, 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 as people are like, oh, so, oh, and people start to get a little peeved. Things are starting to get a little bit, um, as uh, the orator is like, now, 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 people are allowed their opinions, even if they're stupid and wrong. Um, <laughs> I have a be. really dumb question. Sure. Is there like a vendor here that's like, yeah, House Vogel, get get your capes, get your shirts. You, you know? are by a bread vendor that is selling bo- bo- Vogel bread. Not the bread. I'm asking for clothing. Banners. Like, you're looking for merch. I'm looking for merch. <laughs> uh, you know. um, <laughs> sure, how many of them? Are yeah. Carrying weapons are for there is a merch table oh, yeah, ten feet from you. <laughs> 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 it's it's like those um what do you call those those uh flags that are really really thin and long oh, pendant pennant pennant flag they're like little Vogel pennant flags okay on like wooden dowels okay. are you gonna tell me that um and like they look like they look like they have like yeah, Harry Potter are. style Vogel scarves We're, I I saw okay. oh. They're like Something's the long ones too, like the the, the size of the we, fourth doctor. We totally doctor. split the party. Like um, nobody is. What, what's the actor's name? Own, we're off on our own. Oh, Tom Baker. Mm-hmm. Tom Baker, thank you. Tom, ba- that's like Tom Baker scarf okay. size. Mm-hmm. We're we're. Hey, I buddy, just do you mind if we come over here? I want to get a souvenir from my. Oh, for sure. Okay, cool. I mean, like you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy. You know, right. I, like I said, I apologize for not keeping in touch. You know, things so, life just happens. You know. You know I get it. Uh, just yesterday, I thought I was like 200, and <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> I know it was. Well, you don't look what they. Oh, am I human? Know? What am I again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is my race? You were. The, if, if, which one is this? This the was original. the first. Oh, it's the human. You're right. The human. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I was dead yesterday. I guess. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I thought you I was had 200. bad trip. You ate the wrong type of mushroom. You had the bad trip. It's okay. Right. It's okay. You know what happens to everybody. It's, Right, right. Oh, I had that fugue state where I thought I was an uh, I thought I was an elf for a while. It was exactly. A nightmare. Yeah. Oh my God. yeah. Okay. Cool. I really like. Oh, this. you want a flag? You want yeah. me to? Buy? I'll, I'll, I'll get you one. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And he pulls out a project. Look, two flags first. Yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah. Here you awesome. go. Yeah. Yes. Diggity, 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 diggity. Rock and stone. Yeah. Rock and stone. <laughs> Great. That's 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 that video. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Cool. There's. Um. Great. <laughs> you, when you started sending that, you noticed that like him slowing when that was that was him like slowing and like kind of losing his train of thought when you sent that to him, and um, then they you know as a professional show must go on they continued. Yeah. Um, you know 
that if they are a bard with their salt at all, they're not going to stop. No. Because the show must go on. Which is why I'm thinking that might be our only way to clear some stuff out of uh, here. Which is like, I mean, and, and that, t- you, you know that's like, as far as the bardic code, that's like the right thing to do, regardless of like the deal. Uh, unless, Santa's like, space. if you've been straight paid up to gonna put on fucking the show, die, like, you put on the show. Well, I know. I mean, true, yeah, if you get paid to do the show. I mean, if you say you're gonna do the show, you do the show. Right. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, cool. So, anybody else doing anything? Well, so you, now, now catch up. you catch yeah. up. You catch up. And so, <laughs> I'm. Oh, so is, is this another basket? Is this what is? What are they exactly. carrying the thing? Oh. Um, the, right. right. Um, this might, appears might, to might be to uh, what looks like a uh, like a rickshaw. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not a uh, wheelbarrow. It's like a, it's like a rickshaw cart that they're carrying for them, but it's very very small. Very very small rickshaw cart that are carrying with them. It looks like they on the rickshaw cart they go to pee to have uh, Vogel bread. It's no fun. Vogel Come on, I'm the only one who is. Awesome. Uh, Intercar is still nesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm neutral. And so you are aware, you <laughs> know <laughs> that okay your presence is no chaos. longer a surprise to them. They don't know what it was, but they were suspicious and <laughs> moved away. <laughs> but Shikar is still distracting. Yes. Yes, they're, they're not currently looking in your direction. But they, they are holding the cart still. Um, no, they've let it go because they're swatting at Chikar. I'm just gonna take it and... You're gonna just take the rickshaw cart? Okay, so, <laughs> the point of order, they're standing in between the two, like, handles that you would oh. pick up. This is a halfling though, right? Uh, yes. So it's a, mu- it's a very small rickshaw cart. Uh... You could... Well, I mean, I can take it from, like, the front and then just, like, pull... You could pull it straight up away. pick it up. Yeah, you could yeah. pick it. Yeah. Just, just so, yeah, it so I'm, just, I'm basically going to do that just from the front, just, like, take it so, that, you know, they don't get hit. And I then... mean... Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> um, roll a sleight of hand check. <laughs> I'm going to say great. at advantage... I'm I am still invisible. Not, the like, and not be just because you're invisible, because you know, they, because they know you're coming, damage. but they're also currently being distracted, so... So it kind of ends up... Well, it's like... No. Because it's not, there's no disadvantage. It's just all advantages and straight rolls. So it would eventually end up being advantages. It's only gonna be a nine. A nine. Okay. So you <laughs> attempt uh, to pull this out, and you get like ninety percent of the way there, and then they're like, what? 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 and like they act like the 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 bazaar merchant from. Um, from Aladdin, where they notice Abu trying to steal the fruit, they're like, what is that? and they like, and they go to grab the cart, and they like have their hands like holding onto the cart, and you're pulling it, and they're like, what? <laughs> and there's just an invisible force pulling the cart, and they're freaking out with Shakar on top of their bald head. Is that kind of my action or kind of? I mean, you could do something. Yeah. So there's a bunch it's of just bread. Object there. interaction. So there's just a bunch of bread there. Right? Yeah, it's bread on top. Yeah. I'm just going to reach my hand in and hope I find a jar. Okay. And pull that out. Cool. I'm gonna say, roll a dexterity check, because oh that's gonna be whether you reached in like the right way to right. like you know grab the thing. If you reach into the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> that's a 19 on the die, plus two. Okay, that's so you straight up snag it. You feel it, and you pull it out, and bread just goes everywhere as you pull it out real fast. And then, as soon as you have it within your grasp, it just disappears. Yep. And I book it. <laughs> um, they straight up see all of this, though. They fu- fully see their jar get pulled out of their bread and then disappear. <laughs> and they're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they draw a dagger. Um, and they're running at you, so they're going to be trying to attack you at disadvantage because you're, because uh, um, you're, uh, at, well, they haven't used their action yet. So well, um, I'm just saying, Shakar's helping. Yeah, like, digging yeah. into its distraction. Yeah, well, it's a disadvantage anyway because you're because you're invisible. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, if you can try and find us, <laughs> that is a twelve to hit you. That misses. <laughs> so they just go. <laughs> Uh, and and then you see individuals by the this guy drew this woman drew a dagger swiped at an air nearly missed three people and the other people go hey rabble 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 oh, no. 
Uh, and they start like being really pissed off speech? because, and like you see some people start a whole papal and like see? a, a, a full happened. small scale brawl has started in that area now. I'm not close to that one to calm that down. <laughs> Should we go for the guy? Like I said, uh, see, um, you guys are Can't straight up at the stage. The you didn't. You didn't do anything at this turn. Catch no, we're now. we're arguing over if we should do something. So we're okay. ready. I mean, do you want to? Five, four. I'm gonna bend down, stay. cast thaumaturgy, and cast harmless tremors. In the ground. What's the range <laughs> of that? Or like the diameter or whatever it is. It's thirty feet. So, I can so it's thirty foot diameter. Okay. It After doesn't say diameter or anything. It just says you cross harmless tremors in the ground for one minute. Okay, so it's it's not really giving you like a, an area of effect. It's just it just happens. Okay, yeah, because it's not that specific. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you could do that. I'm gonna pass that. Like, um, you start doing for endless tremors, and then um, the the Volga orator is like. <laughs> Rock and stone, rock and stone, like right making after, it part like, of the chant as, as everybody starts, starts to do that. Rock and stone. I'm gonna cast major image, so a purple worm comes out of the ground. Where? <laughs> like just between in between the stage and the guards. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, no, I, it's it's fine. I just need to. I need to think. <laughs> the guy in the stage has to be freaking out a little bit. So here's the deal. Three brawls that you guys can kind of get the idea of kind of broken out. One where the person pulled a dagger. Two where the Mortanic and the Herak people started to like, no, Herak, no Mortanic. Are they like coming As, in from the two lane road from like uh, the side? Like kind of where the cor the far corners of where those torches were. Okay. That's kind of where they're coming in, from the outskirts. It's almost as if, if they started to spread, would encompass the whole thing. Almost like... Like they're pincer, doing a pincer like move? Like they're doing a pincer move. Um, so, um, s small bouts there have started to grow out. Like, the riot is, is starting. Um, and you do tremors, and people start to do rock and stone, rock and stone, and the people start to do tremors, and the tremors and the rock and stone chanting kind of give the rioters the cover they need to like start punching and shoving and moving about um, without being too noticed by the public at large. Um, and then you just straight up <laughs> cause a purple worm to... Okay. Uh, it, it has sound and everything too. Yes, I want to know that. Can you can you can you dictate the specifics of the spell? Uh, major image for me. Please. Yeah, I got it right here. This is not should not be fucking. Happy music. You create the image of an object, a creature, or some other visible phenomenon that is no larger than a twenty foot cube. The image appears at the spot that you can see within range, which is 120 feet, and lasts for the duration, which is up to 10 minutes. It seems completely real, including sounds, smells, and temperature appropriate to the thing depicted. You can't create sufficient heat or cold to cause damage, a sound loud enough to deal thunder damage or deafen a creature, or a smell that might sicken a creature like a troglodyte stench. See page 258. Now I need to see page 258. I'm going there now. <laughs> Um, so, so you can't affect anybody. There's no physical is, effect, yeah, but yeah. it's a realistic. So it effect. looks it's real exactly that like people a like worm looks, yeah. crashing through the earth okay. and like the earth pulling as, out from over it. Yeah. Wow. As long as okay. you are within range of the illusion, you can use your action to cause the image to move to any other spot within range. As the image changes location, you can alter its appearance so that its movements appear natural for an image. For example, if you create the image of a creature, you can move it, you can alter the image so it appears to be walking. Similarly, you can cause the illusion to make different sounds at different times, even making it carry on a conversation, for example. So it's awesome. Puppet. Physical interaction you with the it. image reveals it to be an illusion. It's a fourth level, right? Uh, third. That's just, that's just a third? Yes. That's so powerful. However, if they, if they, if somebody throws something out. into the purple world. For sure, it's an illusion. Yeah, it'll be revealed. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> Make a couple rules here. I wanted to scare the guy at the stage. We talked about this, but you know. Oh my god! I mean, I was just trying to figure out a way to get people to clear out of the area me. a little bit. The other idea. Okay, was to I rolled a one, a two, a four, and a two to discern whether this thing was an illusion or if it was real. And my DC is sixteen. Now, everybody there thinks it's this is fucking real. Even the uh, guards. Everybody. Sort of the guards gonna do. 
So here's what happens. Well, do they <laughs> think it's real? Yeah, do we? Um, we talked could, about it, so I'm assuming yeah, we don't. I, I'm by myself running yeah, invisibly. It, so what is it? It's an intelligence check, right? Yeah. It's Roll an intelligence check. Just wondering. I... It, I know it's fake. Right? I see <laughs> through. Yeah, it, it, I think it, it, it's just straight intelligence, right? Not Arcana. Uh, saving, saving throw or no? It's straight check. intelligence check. Let me double check, but I believe it's, it's a spell. Just a straight intelligence so, check. Okay. Sixteen is your DC, though. Yes, it is. I Sixteen is my DC. Yeah, no, it's not to resist. It's to look through the illusion. It's not a saving throw. Yeah. I believe. So it. do I have? Two, three. I know. No, this is not a saving. <laughs> it's throw. an intelligence check. Yeah. Investigation. So you check. just add your intelligence. Investigation. 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 Okay. It's That's an investigation true. check. Oh, okay. So, so I'm sorry. Hold on. An investigation check requires you to actively be checking it. Right. To see if it. So what I'm gonna do here is instead give me your passive invest, which is the dumbest fucking thing. I hate <laughs> that idea. But it, this is your gut check reaction as to what this is. Your passive investigation. So just p give me ten plus your investigation modifier. Twenty one. Your investigation is plus twelve. Yeah. Whoa. No, eleven. Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa. Expertise. <sighs> Expertise, yeah. Plus he's got twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. What's the DC? Sixteen. So I think it's real. You think it's real? Eighteen. I'm you don't sure. think it. You think it's. Some I know it's fuckery. Well, no, it's <laughs> an experiment we were talking about. Yeah, we we, uh, we we created this plan together. Yeah, so you're fine. Um, <laughs> and if you can tell that it's an illusion, you can see directly straight through it. So I rolled a fourteen. Is that what it says? Yeah. Interesting. It's uh, like it reads your mind. Well, no, like you just you sort realize it's an illusion, so you can. Oh, it becomes like trained. translucent. Okay, yeah. I understand. What's up? So I roll the fourteen in my. No, you don't. You don't roll. You don't roll. No, oh, you just take ten oh, and ten. add your investigation modifier. Ten. ten. Okay, so you think it's real. Okay. And Purdue. twenty-one. So, Purdue. Right. Well, the luck. She doesn't know, roll. Everybody who didn't. Who I don't think she makes it. Is with somebody who knows it's not. What you? Well, what is yours? Sixteen. 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 I don't think she makes it. Oh, that's right. You're not with yeah, her anymore. Yeah, I'm alone right now. <laughs> I'm but, alone. <laughs> <laughs> and invisible. But remember how that went well, last time. No, don't release the bug. Don't, don't go gone. into the woods. <laughs> um, she has ten. She she thinks it's real too. So she thinks it's real. Eliezer thinks it's real. Log and log but but they're both with you, and you yeah. saw through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. But I, depending on how we do. Yeah, is this just your gut reaction, like in the moment, like for at least a round, at the very least a round, you think there's a fucking purple one? There. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so okay, you through there. Um, you see the orator um, fall back on this ass ah! and just <laughs> freak, freak the fuck out. Um, uh, I just start scrambling and fall off the back of the stage. Um, the crowd devolves into utter panic and chaos. Um, the guards mostly devolve into utter panic and chaos, which aren't guards, they're just Vogel members to facilitate crowd. Oh yeah, involvement. so some of them are gonna be panicking, some of them are gonna try and attack it, yeah, some of them some, are gonna try and run away. Yeah, it's, 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 at the moment, it's every man for themselves. Um, Pure pandemonium. So it's absolute it. fucking chaos. Um, that speaks to me. On some level, that speaks to me. <laughs> Turn to my friend and just do that. That's what's happening right now. You know, my belly. Are you okay? Do you need a place to hide? You can come to my place. I'm okay. I'm gonna go hide in the loo. Okay, I'll see you later. I love you. All right, love you. Love you too. See ya. Okay, bye. Don't die. You neither. Go, go, go. And I just, I pretend to run to the bathroom and I'm just shaking my head the whole time because I'm like, God. At least you got away from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to him. How mean. <laughs> You're like, I, I did this to him. I made them like really, really, I charmed me and then I hated every moment of it. That's so mean. That wasn't. <laughs> That's so mean. That wasn't. That's not what she said. I know. That's not, not what she said. Poisonous insects. I mean. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were, you were, you were like. Ugh, she was more shaking her head at what <laughs> I've done. <laughs> no. Uh, She's I more know that I have an hour until he knows who the fuck I am that yes. did that. So like, <laughs> she's more like shaking hurt. her head at the fact oh, no. that I caused this. You guys, you guys have to hurt him. Okay. Um. No, no, no. Charm person just lasts unless they're for the duration. Are attacked of the spell. by the allies. They mm -hmm. get to reroll if they uh, if they take damage from an ally. I'll double check. If 
No, or no. Or until if, you or your companions if they see us, to it. Yeah, that's why I fucking see. Or if they see us attack one of their allies. Yeah. But so we haven't done that. Right. Okay. They've seen. So here's the deal. No. Literally, it's just pandemonium. That's where we're going to take our second break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right at that moment. Um, again, if you're watching this episode, we head over to the next episode, and uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Stay safe out there. Bye. Avoid purple work. <laughs>